Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. Yes, it is that time again where we face the long drive and there is already already rabbity buggers. Uh, we're off to a wonderful start. I see you. <laughs> I see you. I do not trust you. You have gone away very quickly. Uh, <laughs> we are back in the long drive. We have got... A fury, well, there is one here. It is actually pretty well equipped. We are going to be restoring it. It's actually in pretty good shape to begin with. Uh, we're going to be restoring it. We're going to be transferring our stuff over. We're going to be setting off with it and essentially seeing how things go. The first thing that I am going to do is search for rabbity buggers to make sure no one sneaks up. Oh, there's even a, there's even a Jeff. Um, there's even a Jeff behind the shed. Oh, what a wonderful... What a wonderful place. That, I'm not going to waste too much ammo. Um, but yes, welcome back to the uh, to the long drive. Uh, this is our cart. We have a Fury uh, that is actually in pretty good condition overall. Um, we, we've got... It's just got everything on it. We've got a million sponges to make the car nice and shiny, uh, which we can start oh, start, uh, start doing. And we're going to see what happens, really, uh, with this. It's going to be... So we're going to have a little bit of time while we're sorting this car out. It's going to take us a little bit of time to get this car up to up to spec. I mean, I think... Can it go shinier than that? I think it can go one stage shiny. There we go, yeah. That's that's the top spec shininess uh, on the boot. And the entire car, look at this! It is a hell of a shiny vehicle. We've got to be a little bit careful, of course, doing this. Um, here we go. Um, we're going to whack some big old turbos on it and, uh, and all of that. Um... Now, I will say, just, uh, just as, a, as a general, I apologise if you can hear fans going on. Uh, between my computer and my aircon that I've had to get out for today, uh, there is, quite, I say quite a lot of... I've got to have the aircon run. My office gets very, very hot. I have got the dog up in, in the office with me today. Uh, Apollo is currently fast asleep. Uh, but I am going to be running the fans uh, to try and keep everything... Well, the aircon, keep everything cool. Uh, so, yeah. Um, hopefully it's not too noisy. I apologise if it is. I can turn it off periodically if it gets a little bit loud. It doesn't seem too bad on the uh, on the audio, kind of when I was looking at the waveforms or whatever. Um, so I'm hoping it's not going to end up being too bad. But yeah, uh, let me know and we will. We, we can adjust stuff. Uh, right, I am going to be very, very wary around here. I'll tell you that much of rabbits. I do not want a rabbity bugger to ruin my day just as we've got a fury. Uh, if it, is it just those just, just joining the stream? Welcome. Uh, welcome to the long drive. I am just going to move this car uh, a little bit. I'm going to move this car into. We're going to move this car into rabbit blocking position. Also, I don't want to have to run too far to pick up every sort of thing that I need, so I might as well put it there. Uh, for Nick Eight, uh, thank you very much for the donation. Yes, I'm going to read that name out very carefully. Um, thank you very much. Uh, saying the f the fury of awesomeness. <laughs> Indeed, I love that the one sort of classic American car they decide to add to this game is a Fury. It's not quite the same generation I have. I have a 65. This is a 50s um, Fury. But, uh, yeah, I love that. The one gener the, the one American... It's an unusual American car, actually, to add into... Uh, um, uh, kind of add, in add into the game, I guess. But it is kind of cool. Actually, I can't put the wheel on there. I was just going to do that. Because we are going to try... I think that can go one tier better. Um... I think we can go one tier better, uh, and there will be somewhere, here we go, oh, that door opens outwards. <laughs> there were fuck two of them! They've killed each other! What? There was literally absolutely nothing on that one. I have my sound really loud today, and they only cried as they killed me. That's insane. Um, <laughs> that is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, Lano did just donate saying, I think I speak for all of chat when I say that because you finally have a Fury, you are welcome to an extra life with this one. Uh, see, we can be nice. Lano has donated for an extra life. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I, I, you know what? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, screw it. We're gonna. Lado, Lado has donated for an extra life, uh, and therefore, 
we will we will go for it. We follow what the donators ask for. Uh, Lalo asked for an extra life, so we're going for that. But <laughs> oh, that that's it though. That's it. We're not getting away with any more. Where did they even come from? Where the hell did they even come from? I don't know. Um, thank you, Lado. That's that's the kindest Lado has been. Uh, I, I jest, of course, but <laughs> that's it. If we die again, if we die again, we we it's game over. Bloody game! I swear to God, Lado, that was very fortuitous timing. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I didn't even see any rabbit. I don't know where they must have just spawned in fairly recently. Um, Jeez, that's... yeah. <laughs> this is so... Uh, that is ridiculous. We've got to be really careful. I think I'm just going to stand on the roof of my cars at this point. Uh, you know what? We're going to have... Uh, we're going to have some food. I think that would be a good idea. Uh, oh, we need a... we need a... we need a poo first. Um, I just don't... I don't trust anywhere. Um, so... I don't know how we've crapped that... this is... my... The computer is so loud to try and make sure that I could hear rabbits. This is horribly deafening. Um, so there we go. Uh, Finland Bull, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, suggestion to not die. Place your estate car around the garage and only work on the fury inside of its garage. Uh, rabbits will glitch out on the estate car and die. You can easily guard the remaining gaps with the AK. Uh, yeah, we kind of we've got we're kind of doing that a little bit actually uh, here at the moment. Um, with with this, yeah, it is kind of just make make a little bit of a blockade as best we can and hope that they die um, on anything. Uh, as Longbow says, yes, we're basically going to play the floor. Like, I don't actually the rabbits, to be honest, could probably kill me up here if they so chose. Uh, I I don't know. They're probably glitch, um, but yeah, uh, that will work for us. Right, uh, we we have got to get water out of this car um, somewhere. That's an old radiator. We don't need that. That radiator's crap. Um, is it this one here that's full of water, I think? Uh, I'm going to guess possibly, or is this one full of petrol? Uh, whoopsie daisy. Uh, this is the one full... Okay, that's the one full of, full of gas. Uh, we will stick that over there. Um, and then... Oh, glitch... Oh, glitchy weirdness. No. <laughs> glitchy weirdness. So that's an empty jerry can. We'll take empty jerry cans with us. However, uh, for the moment, we're just empty and stone. Moment, I'm just trying to find some bloody water and check for rabbits. Thank you, Apollo, for kicking my foot. Uh, much appreciated. Um, I, I've got Apollo asleep on my feet. Don't ask. I don't know why. Uh, that's also an empty jerry can. I say I don't know why. He's just being a soppy dog today. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know whether he's going to stay asleep for the whole stream. I'm going to get it. Sometimes he does. Uh, he hasn't had his second walk yet today. It was very hot, so I'm waiting until this evening, until after the stream, to go and take him on a walk. So he might get impatient. Who knows what level of distracto dog we will get to. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much chance of me surviving with the Fury, but we'd at least like to try. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Lado was, Lado was very kind in giving us the extra life. Uh, Andrew, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying... Uh, please, can you have the mini turbo on the dash as a fan? <laughs> if it lets, if it lets, uh, if it lets me, we can probably play around and mess around with that a little bit. We will have to wait and see. Um, I spy rabbity buggers about. This is, oh god, how many are there? Oh, there's so many rabbits out here today. I swear they've upped the spawn rate of these. Oh, I should be careful with this. We have got an okay amount of ammo. However, that was some terrible shooting by me. Where is that one? That one is actually running away. Nope. I'm not chancing any of this. Um, there is a lot of rabbits around and I don't like that. <laughs> Do not like that one bit. Um, right, I'm leaving the car out of the way a little bit uh, because what I might do is I'm going to try and put some debris in the way. The reason why I'm not pulling the car all the way into the garage, there is a good reason for it, uh, is because I do still need to be able to work on the Fury and I want a little bit of space. So I'm hoping that there'll be enough debris here to freak the rabbits out if they come for me. That is that is what we're going for here. Uh, right, let's get, let's get the Fury sorted. Really, um, we are just going to check for rabbits everywhere, pretty much. So I think this 
wheel, this tyre, will need a magic spray. We've got a couple of bottles up here. Awesome stuff. Right, check for rabbits. Uh, <laughs> okay, there we go. So that's that one there. I can just sit up there for now. So we're going to have a good tyre on the Fury. I think there might be a couple of door panels that still need a little bit of shining and everything, but that's okay. Game got a little bit laggy. I see you, rabbity bugger. Go away. Oh, there's a, there's a lot of... There's so many rabbity buggers. Uh, <laughs> don't like it at all here. It's just unnecessary. It's just unnecessary how many... How many rabbity buggers we have currently. That's actually not a bad condition tyre. Um, this one. We will keep this tyre. We can fix up the tyre. We can fix the wheel up as well. Um, that's no problem at all. Where is this gone? So this should... Uh, bring the tyre back up to new. So if you haven't seen the long drive before, uh, the rabbits are the main threat. Alongside glitchy broken physics, uh, the rabbits are the main threat. They will kill you in one hit if they get to you. They are the biggest danger that we face in this post-apocalyptic world. Don't ask. I don't really understand exactly how it's ended up in such a way, but that is how it goes. Uh, so yeah, we do not want to fight the rabbits. I think I need a sponge now to sort that, that wheel out the rest of the way. Uh, Awula, thank you very much for all the donations. Bear with me for a minute uh, and I will get around to reading them. Do I have any more sponges in here? There are some more in the house. But I don't really want to go to the house. I don't like the thought of going to the house. Okay. There does not look like any rabbity buggers out here. <laughs> Quickly. Okay, I I don't know whether I want to leave the door open or closed, actually. Don't really like any of the options that I have uh, available to me. They all feel quite dangerous. If I leave it open, a rabbit could run in. If I leave it closed, I have to faff getting in and out. Um, so, yeah, there is that. We are safe in here, though, at least. I should read some donations. Um... Uh, Landy Man, thank you very much for the uh, donation, saying hello again. I finally finished my apprenticeship uh, with my final two-day exam, and now I shall de-stress to your stream. Uh, well, congrats, congrats on uh, completing all of that. I'm not sure this is the main way to de-stress, the best way to de-stress. I feel like this is quite a stressful existence uh, in here, but I hope you do enjoy the uh, the stream. Uh, Gliska, thank you very much for the nation's sake. I think you're 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 destined to never get a fury, Alex. I, I retract Alado's extra life, and it's too late. I am afraid it is too late. The extra life has been used, uh, but it is the only one. It is the only one I will get. Um, yeah, I mean we. The chances of us surviving in this world are tiny. I know what my luck is like here, so yeah, we're probably going to snuff it at some point. But, but. We are going to uh, keep... We're going to try. We're going to see what, what we can do here. All right, so I'm putting the rusty parts over here. We will try and fix up hubcaps and the like if we can, if we have enough bits and pieces. You are very close, rabbity bugger. I'm not liking this. When Since when have the rabbits got so angry? <laughs> I have said in the past that I actually want this from the game. Uh, that if you stay in the same place for too long, more and more rabbits come. I like that as a mechanic. It forces you to kind of keep on the move and doesn't necessarily give you the time to fix vehicles up perfectly. Uh, which I do like as a mechanic. I just didn't realise that was going on currently, shall we say. Uh, which is very much the case at the moment, it seems. Um, I'm actually going to have to be careful. Because if I'm not, I'm going to run out of ammo. My ammo is in the roof of my estate car. We're going to get into the house um, here uh, to go f to sleep. We should be safe in here. I can sort of sit in roughly in the center of the restaurant um, and we can go for a sleep. I have 40, uh, 13 or 14 or something about that. That sort of amount of bullets in, in the roof box of my car. I do have more ammo. Uh, available. Oh, it's dark. Nope, we are not going outside in the dark. <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I'm scared of the rabbits. Uh, not the dark per se. We can turn the lights on, but I just don't trust. I don't trust there to not be a rabbit sneaking about. Uh. Well, okay. Well, while we wait for it to get a little bit brighter here, 
Uh, you've got some oil in here. I was going to say they've got any water in these. Not that we really need that much water. Um, yeah, donations. Uh, Malcolm... Uh, Malcolm might uh, met. I'm not sure if I'm right correctly, but thank you very much for the donation. There wasn't a message with it, but thank you. It's much appreciated. Uh, Tup Ui, thank you for the donation. I uh, say, yay, more deadly desert. It has been very deadly. Uh, hello from the Netherlands. Uh, indeed, I say welcome to, to wherever you may be in the world uh, where you are watching this one. It might be it might be morning, it might be uh, middle of the night, or it might be afternoon, who knows. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, wherever you are from, I hope you are enjoying some more of this complete mess. Oh, uh, where are the rabbits? I don't know. I don't... Oh, God, a little bit laggy. I don't like it at all. Uh, <laughs> Cloud, thank you for the donation. Uh, saying, do you tune your cars for Horizon 5 races or just upgrade them? Also, when are you planning on doing a Survive the Hunt on Horizon 5? So, I might tune a little bit uh, on cars. Not very much if I do. It may, it's, it's normally just to tune if something's really weird about it. So gear ratios, perhaps. Gear ratios would be the main thing. Uh, normally it's just upgrades. I used to know a little bit about tuning a long time ago, but it has, it has been a long time uh, since I've done any, done any of that, really. Um, so, yeah, I've tended not to, uh, uh, not, not to go too in-depth in the tuning. Uh, there are some people who are very good at it. I am not really one of them. I don't know what that was. It broke, whatever it was. Um, yeah, I, I can know little bits, but mo mostly what I do in terms of building vehicles is just the parts, just the upgrade parts themselves. Um, that does most of the work. Uh, right. That can go. That's actually used up most of my that spray bottle. God, this is so dicey. <laughs> I really don't like this, in case you haven't noticed. I'm really unhappy with this current situation. There is just too many... There's just too many dangers out there. And I don't know where the next one's going to come from. That's the worst bit, is I just don't know where the rabbity bugger is going to spawn almost on top of our head. Um, okay, there are the ones that are over there in the distance, that's fine. Uh, so they can do their own thing. Uh, Darth MacGyver, thank you very much for the donation. It's dangerous reading donations, but we shall hide in a corner and read. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Saying, so, as an American, uh, with a history of our classic cars, welcome to the cycle of ownership. Oil change, engine rebuild, <laughs> oil change, uh, get married, engine trans rebuild, get divorced, put through... Foot through rusty floor, engine rebuild, you die, car runs like you. Yeah, <laughs> sounds about accurate. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not just American cars, classic cars in general. They're, there's always there's always something with them. There's always something wrong. There's always something going on with a classic car. Uh, it's part of the... I say part of the... It's always going to be the way. And, uh, yeah, uh, I say unfortunately. That's, uh, sadly, you know, the engine in the Fury is, is very old. Some previous owners were idiots and terrible job of looking after it um so yeah it's uh it's not in a great shape at the moment but it will get there um and then it'll be great fun it will be uh, great fun indeed to have that back but yeah there's old classic cars there is always a problem somewhere um along the along the line it's, it is the way of the world pretty much uh right we will get uh this spray bottle is not gonna be enough to fix up this tire completely but i think there are more spray bottles inside that we can grab uh right let's oh i dropped that down there okay let's check for rabbity buggers okay we've got three bullets for a panicked shooting we should have enough to kill anything that dare spawn Hmm. All right, we do need this. Oh, this has got a lot of... Uh, that's got a lot of uses in it, which is good. Check around for rabbits. We've got to be so, so careful. <laughs> uh, if you are just joining into the stream, welcome to the Paranoid Drive, where I am absolutely terrified a rabbit's going to kill me. Mostly because they already have... Lado gave us an extra life, which is very kind of Lado. Um, but yeah, th this is a sketchy... This has been a sketchy rebuild at the moment. Um, and it's going to continue, I fear, to be a sketchy rebuild uh, for a while yet. But we will do our best. Okay, so the good news, the Fury has brand new tyres, basically. This is a crappy wheel that we don't need. 
thought I heard something. I am incredibly paranoid currently. <laughs> uh, oh, I pressed a button. No, gun. I dropped the magazine out of the gun. Um, that's a bad idea indeed. Um, yeah, we don't want to be doing that. Okay. So, things to be fixing up on the Fury. Let's go and... Well, we can actually hide around the back of it. This is quite a nice place. We can use a sponge on the rear bar. Get that nice and shiny. And then we can use it on the door. I don't know about the colour of this car. I might change the colour. It's not the most exciting. It's kind of, it's kind of a bit generic-y grey uh, going on. But... We can, we can change it if we want. Uh, we make a nice blue, actually. Might go for a blue Fury. We will see. I'm not... I mean, we don't have anything to paint it red. Um, <laughs> if we do, I'm sure that's just asking for trouble at that point. Uh, Christine is, is dangerous enough for... Uh, we don't want to bring in too much bad luck. This thing is glitching all over the place. Let's just get this basket off the roof. This is our basket of food and Jeff, the friendly giraffe. Uh, right, this can come with us. Let's just have some trits over breakfast. I'm not sure that's the nicest breakfast. However... Um, I mean, like, don't get me wrong, I like it, but probably not as a breakfast food, I feel. I don't know. In a pinch, it's uh, better than nothing, I guess. There is that. I don't have a red option at the moment. We only have we only have a blue, a yellow, or a pink option. Uh, we've had many pink cars before. I actually like something a little bit different. Um, so, yeah, we will see. Uh, okay, we're going to sprint to here and grab the sponge. That's what we wanted. Uh, then we will check for rabbits. <laughs> check for rabbits to make sure that we are not about to uh, get got. Very quickly go and shine up the bumper on this. And I think this is about as shiny as the Fury gets, basically. Uh, which is... Oh, which is not bad. Okay. So, things things we have got to do. First thing is first. We've got to fill the Fury up with fuel. Uh, now, this is going to, I imagine, burn through a lot of fuel. We have a mod that increases fuel consumption and all of that. Uh, so, I'm going to hazard a guess. This is going to burn through many, many fuels. Um... Yeah, it's going to go through many, many fuels, but what can we do at this point? Um, we will try and drain the tank of the car we have. I'm not sure how much we can get out of it. Um, oh, yeah, I did forget to sort out the bonnet. Bear with. Uh, we can we can fix that. We're going to try and drain the tank of our estate car. Uh, yeah, because that's got 30-odd litres of uh, fuel check for rabbits before we do this. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we're not going to um, see them again for a while, but who knows. Oh. No, God, game. How is that? working. <laughs> or not working. Hold on, if I put this wheel on here, that lift should lift the car up. Okay, that works. That'll do. It's something, at least. Okay, the car just wasn't quite high enough. I thought it was, but apparently not. Um, that's that's something we've got going on. Right, sorry, I shall read some more donations while we let that do its thing. Uh, Reactor, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying some personal experience uh, for when you actually die. Uh, improving one's car and collecting stuff improves future spawns. Improving cars you don't actually want and collecting stuff you don't need uh, does spawn more stuff down the road. Uh, play how you like that. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Didn't know that. I guess it makes sense in some ways. The game thinks you've got more stuff, so it's kind of wanting to um, do kind of more. I can I can see this sort of logic. Um, I can I can see the sort of logic in that one. That makes sense. Um, so yeah, we will probably mess around with uh, with some vehicles along the way. I mean, it's not impossible. I mean, we might try and get a trailer. I might put a trailer on the Fury. See what happens. I mean, I feel like that is asking for glitchy. Uh, Glitchy problem times, but, you know. 
Maybe not. Maybe not. We will see. No sign of... Uh... I'm going to do all of this, and because something's going to go wrong, and this car's just not going to start. I can sense I can sense how my luck is going to go with this. Uh, we've already had some rabbity problems. Uh, so what is the best thing? We're going to have some different problems when we do come to drive the vehicle. Uh, right, where did that sponge go? There we go. This thing here. Okay, check. Quickly shine the car, shine the car, shine the car. <laughs> shine the car and then drop the sponge way away, way away from there. Um, it's going to be the way to go, I think, with this. Right, shall we start loading up the boot? We're going to take a couple of spare tyres um, along the way. Because we're all, you're always going to need tyres. There's no sign of rabbity buggers. Um, yeah, we'll take a couple of spare tyres for it. Uh, now, I have a mod installed that physics locks everything in the boot of the car. So, it is very nice um, to we'll be able to do that. To just be able to dump stuff in and know that it's going to stay where it should. Uh, that's oh, that's going to be a bugger to get, isn't it? Come here, tyre. Uh, these tyres are not in great condition, but they'll do in a pinch. You know, these are sort of like, a, it's better to have this than nothing. Uh, which is, you know, is very, very true. Um, we will pinch the wheel. It's actually what I was after here. Oh, uh, well, not as good as a Fury tyre. Actually, does, does that fit? Well, yeah, not... Uh, actually, the Fury doesn't have... Uh, no, they are the same wheels, actually. Ignore me completely. Um, the hubcap's different on the Fury. That's what makes them look different. Never mind. I will shut up at this point. Uh, uh, GK, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, so I've been watching for about six years now. Uh, thank you for everything. Uh, really enjoying the streams. Uh, that's my entertainment for the evening. Sorted. Also, I couldn't work out how to fasten my seatbelt. Then it clicked. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. That is going to be a boo to you. <laughs> from from me, and I have no doubt from chat as well. That is definitely a boo to you right there. But thank you very much uh, for the donation. And I'm glad my uh, streams have been... Uh, streams and videos are, are entertaining. Always glad to, always glad to hear. Um, where have we got any more rabbits sneaking around? I don't think so at the moment. I think we're kind of clear for now. Um, all right, things that we are going to need to do. Coolant. We're going to need to dump some coolant into here. Uh, that is a good place to start. Now, we can... Actually, is this radiator better than the one in the car currently? I think this radiator is, you know. Um... Or, no, wait, the Fury radiator is different. Uh, I think the Fury radiator is bigger. Might hold 20 litres of coolant. Yes, it does. Okay, never mind. We will uh, use um, this. Oh, yeah, Cloud. I apologise. I, I was halfway through answering and something happened. Um, yeah, as far as uh, Survive the Hunt goes on, Horizon 5, there are some technical problems with us running it at the moment. It's not impossible that we won't, that, that we won't see it at some point. Um, however... There are some technical issues with doing it. Um, mostly, the the problem we've got currently is getting people to be able to see each other reliably just isn't working. When when that will work reliably, then why the physics did that happen? I wasn't asking something crazy from you, game. Uh, well, I think most of the... Most of the fuel went in the thing anyway. But yeah, when, when we can have everybody being able to see each other consistently, then we may well see um, a Survive the Hunt proper on um, on Horizon 5. Sadly, yeah, at the moment it's just too unreliable. So we haven't really been able to do the car chases. We've tried. We tried to do uh, Bulldog a little while ago, and we just couldn't get... It takes ages for us to get everybody to be able to see each other. It's an absolute nightmare. Um, you should have seen the trouble we had trying to do the rally tournament. Um, the, the rally tournament we had running, uh, that, that high-speed one where I had the golf, uh, that was a nightmare trying to get everyone to be able to see each other. So, yeah, there are some problems with Forza. Finally, there are some problems with Forza. They don't really work very reliably. Um, and that's, that's why we haven't seen Survive the Hunt yet. Uh, pretty much. Okay, let's get box of food. I tend to keep my box of food on the roof. 
Uh, I don't know why. It's just a habit I've got into that the box of food stays on the roof of my car. Um, so, yeah, we will continue to uh, use that. Um, right. We will also grab this the box of bullets. Uh, oh, now I'm going to put the box of bullets. I think, I think I think it's probably a good idea how like the box of bullets and the box of food on the roof. It means that if you're in a bad situation, you can you've kind of got everything you need, and you can you can do it while stood on the car. If you put this, if I put all this in the boot, which you know would be the sensible, normal thing to do. However, if I did do that, uh, it would mean that uh, in a pinch I would be stuck trying to uh, faff around with a boot. Which I don't really want to. Uh, oh, wait. come on. This bloody thing. I do hate placing of the crates. It is a nightmare. But that will work quite nicely. Uh, wait. That can go in there. Then just attach that there. Okay, awesome. Uh, now, there is a way. Ooh. Um, there's a way. I can't remember how. Do I have to... Wait, I think I remember. We unload that. Oh, for God's sake, game! I just... Oh, bugger. We might have lost a lot of our ammo. <laughs> or it's... Has it fallen into the car? Has anyone seen a load of bullets? It's now got bloody dark. Uh, awesome. Uh, right, I'm going back into my restaurant for a sleep. I think it's under the car somewhere. I just can't see it at the moment. Bloody game, I swear. Uh, let's just go have a sleep. Everything is fine. Uh, Turbo Cookie, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, so, hi Alex, if you need to fix your car in the long drive or put oil, water, etc., in in the boot when you find uh, in in the boot uh, when you find a workshop, would it be easier pulling into the workshop and closing the doors to save possibility of death by rabbits? In theory, yes. Um, in in theory, yes, you could probably do that. I don't know whether you can with the bigger cars like the Fury. Uh, the Fury might be too long uh, to actually fit in there. Possibly. I'm not 100% sure. Um, however, yeah, that would be a sensible way if that's provided the workshop isn't full of crap. Because sometimes they are literally full to the brim of junk. So maybe maybe, maybe on some of them that would work. Uh, might not work on all of them though. But yeah, it's not a bad idea actually. If we find a workshop somewhere along the line, uh, that might be something to, uh, to try. We shall see. Uh, right, okay. Don't you know? I don't think we need to bring three spare tires. Um, I'm just gonna be lazy and do that. So we'll bring the better condition tire here. Uh, that can go in the corner. Uh, so yeah, the the workshops they, they'll definitely have their uses uh, for that sort of stuff. Um, right. So we've got roof gubbins that we need. Check for more of those sneaky rabbity assholes. Uh, what are you full of? You're full of oil. Uh, now we do need, we do need some oil, but I'm not going to use this uh, Jerry can of oil. That seems a little bit unnecessary, uh, really. Okay, so you can go sit in there. Uh, now what I am going to do is one of these I'm going to go fill up with water. Uh, check for rabbits. Check for rabbits. Spin around like a lunatic, and shut the door. <laughs> Okay, uh, this is always a janky thing, trying to fill up jerry cans in a sink, but it does work most of the time. Uh, Alright, so if we just... Oh, okay, maybe not. Sometimes... There we go, okay, we can just jank it. Yes, we have figured out how to jank it all together and make it work. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm just waiting for the death rabbits to find their way through the wall, because I'm, I'm sure they will. Uh, Senor Blanco, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, so unleash the fury. We are close. We are close to unleashing the fury. Uh, <laughs> uh, almost. We are. We are almost close to unleashing. Actually, that's a very good point. So I said yes. I haven't filled up the radiator. I might as well use this to fill up the radiator of the car, 
Uh, and then we'll go back and refill it with water for drinking. Perfect. Uh, I, I, that is a good... I would have forgotten. So thank you for reminding me. Um, Jared, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, who is your cu favourite current F1 driver? Uh, who is your all-time favourite driver? That is a very good question. Uh, my current... I say, my all-time favourite is easy. Uh, it is Raikkonen. Uh, I've always... Always been a, uh, a big fan of Raikkonen. And, uh, yeah, I mean... I guess I kind of grew up watching that era of Formula One, uh, where you know Raikkonen, Raikkonen in the McLaren, Alonso in the uh, Renault, Schumacher in the Ferrari, and all that. And that, that was sort of the era of Formula One that uh, that I grew up with. Uh, oh, we do need some food. Thankfully, I have so much car bacon that we can get away with it. Um, so yeah, that, that was the era of uh, of Formula One that, that I grew up with, and Raikkonen was always my favourite driver um, of the lot. He was unbelievably fast and. He was always, I say he was always entertaining. He like he, he knew what he wanted, which was to drive cars quick and just didn't care about all the other aspects of Formula One, which I've always kind of admired. And I think many people have, you know. But that's one of the, one of the reasons many people have, uh, you know, like Raikkonen is uh, a little bit to do with that sort of uh, approach. Um, so, yeah, all-time driver, straightforward. Uh, Favourite current Formula One driver? Ah... Uh, See, I often, even to even to this day, I'm often not the. I, I watch racing because I want to. I want to watch exciting racing, and I often don't really care that much who is winning. Uh, so as long as there is some exciting racing, I don't mind. Uh, of of the, I say of the of the current drivers, I'd say perhaps Leclerc is my favourite of them. Um, but yeah, there's no particular sort of massive standout drivers. I do like Ricardo, um, but has <laughs> just cannot seem to get to work with a McLaren, which is a little bit of a shame. But uh yeah, it, it would probably be Leclerc or, or Ricardo would would be uh would would be up there. Although I, I like to see like I like to see Alonso do well. I like I like to see unusual uh, I like to see the, the exciting stories where cars that shouldn't be doing well are suddenly running at the front and that sort of thing. That's that's that interests me more than having you know whatever favourite driver it might be um, running at the front of the field, if you like. Or maybe it's a weird way of watching motorsport. I don't know. Um, I think well, the problem with let's say, the problem with Formula One. We're going to go on a random tangent, but sure, let's do it. Why not? Uh, my problem with Formula One a little bit. Uh, I say a little bit, but when I watch motorsport for the first time. I tend to end up supporting a kind of underdog team or an underdog driver that can still surprise, that still has an outside shot of winning uh, or, or doing really well. When I started watching NASCAR, for example, at the time, that was Truex. Um, Truex was driving that furniture row car that should never really have been doing well, yet he suddenly managed to get... Uh, he was like suddenly getting victories and, and running really well and sh should never have been doing, which was awesome to see. And... That was why I ended up starting supporting Truex in, um, in in NASCAR, and then you know he went on and won a championship, and now drives for a front-running team. But I started supporting him because he was running that backmarker car, or that car that you expect to be backmarker that suddenly wasn't. Uh, the same with V8 supercars. Um, I started supporting Van Giersbergen when he was driving the Ford that. Uh, Say, say the, the, the sort of lesser Ford of Angersberg was always exciting to drive. Now, of course, he's the main runner with the um, uh, Red Bull team. And then it was McLaughlin with the Volvo. So, yeah, I do have a system, but that doesn't work with Formula One because backmarker cars outside of unbelievable luck, you can't. You out, if you outperform an Alpine, for example, you may get fourth or fifth. Uh, maybe a podium, you know, you you you, okay, I mean, you do really, really occasionally get, like, you got Ocon winning, but that's through, like, it has to be such a crazy set of circumstances. It's not just, you know, one of the one of the cars had an amazing day. Radiator's closed, I already closed it. Uh, yeah, one, one of the cars, one of the drivers had an amazing day, and suddenly, you know, outperforming their car and they're running at the front. Uh, it just doesn't happen in Formula One, uh, which is a bit of a shame, and I think that's why I find myself not really caring, because... It's a little bit... What's the word for it? Um, but yeah, it's kind of... It's always just a little bit... Uh, f not fixed, but it's just got, kind of got like a guarantee that you know uh, you know what's roughly going to happen. So yeah, I think that's why... 
why I, I say struggle, but that's, that's why I don't uh, find myself as interested in, uh, I say it's interesting with the Formula 1 drivers, I just hope that there's a good race, which there has been on the most part this season. Uh, Monaco is Monaco, it always is, but uh, the actual races have been enjoy have been entertaining enough, just to shame the Ferraris are as brittle as an old Lancia. Um, so there we go, that, was that going to stay there? Can we balance the bacon? Yes, we're doing, oh dear, we're doing Jenga with bacon. Yes, that's what, the radiator is not open. The radiator is closed. See? Open. Closed. <laughs> uh, right. What do we need? We're not taking the glitch fest that is the wing on this. We'll take a Jeff. Come on, Jeffrey. You can come with us. Apollo, you have farted in the office again. This is why. This is why you're in the crate when I stream. Yet that stinks. Send help. <laughs> Send help. Apollo, you stinky bugger, Jeff. Sorry you're in the boot, but you are safe in the boot, at least, for now. Um, I am not safe. I need a hazmat suit. Oh, Apollo, you stinky dog. Uh, right, water. We're going to we're gonna have this um, bit of water is going to go in the car. Um, you can sit in the vehicle. Uh because that I might need sooner. Possibly. That can go in there. Awesome. Um, Alright, that's... Uh, let's use one of these wire brushes to uh, clean that up a bit. We'll try and get some shiny hubcaps. Uh, wait, hold on. Did I... Oh, did I not actually load that into the gun? Whoops! <laughs> There could have been a very, very sketchy, uh, sketchy moment right there. Check for rabbits, no sign of them at the moment. Uh, right, that will do. Okay, that's a hubcap. So the reason why you want hubcaps is it kind of gives an extra life to your wheels. Um, if you get in a big crash, they're slightly more likely to survive a ridiculous impact. Um, the, the hubcaps ping off first before the wheels ping off in general. It's not a perfect system, but... That is generally how it goes. I don't need another another siphon. I've already got one. Do not worry. Uh, we are already well enough equipped on that front. Um, Alright. Here we go. Uh, uh, right, let's fix up the hubcaps. And then we will be set. Uh, okay, sorry. Well, I'll catch up with some donate. Oh, that's already screwed. Go away, wire brush. Uh, let's go use this. We're going to pick up all the guff that I have hanging around in the kitchen area for now. Okay. That can close. While we are in the safety of here, we can read some stuff. Um, sandwich, thank you very much for the donation. As I finally sorted out my health, so wish me luck with my driving exams. Uh, best of luck. Best of luck with that one, indeed. Uh, always an interesting time, uh, shall we say. Uh, so yeah, I hope everything goes well with that. Uh, we do need, we're going to go make sounds in the corner while I read out donations. I really do apologise. Um, also, four different people in my family have died uh, while eating normal everyday potatoes. It, it really is the curse of the common potato. I, you know, I am going to give you a boo for that one, but it was quite good. It was quite good. Any Anytime you can get commentator's curse into a pun... I'm not sure I can give you a full boo on that one, um, but a little boo. And chat will probably give you a boo for that. Uh, <laughs> uh, Kristen, thank you very much for the donation. So my other half is considering getting a pre. Uh, he does a lot of the uh, driving for work. I've told him that if he does get one, he should spray wrap it pink. Yes, yes, get a pink pre. Uh, there, there is always, there is always a chance that um, it might get blown up by accident by someone probably driving in a red car. A uh, red car? Orange car? Yeah, actually, I'd never drive an orange car to survive the hunt. Uh, so any other colour than orange, probably. But yes. Um, uh, yeah, go go for it. Get a pink. Get a pink pre. That seems like a good idea. There is no way. There is no way that could ever go wrong whatsoever. Uh, 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 oh, bloody baskets. I hate these. Um, 
I do I do hate dealing with the baskets. The physics is just the jankiest thing in the world. Oh, come on. Right. Just drop and go. Um Or my depth perception is also possibly the jankiest thing in the world. Uh Oh, god damn it. It's, just, it's like Surgeon Simulator, only slightly less fiddly, but equally annoying. That'll do. I mean, we really don't actually need all of that much uh, in terms of uh, bits and pieces. Let's just very, very sneakily um, stick our head out and, and run around uh, over here. Uh <laughs> Okay, so I mean that's that's a lot of our cleaning supplies for the car. Um, one of these was full of oil somewhere, wasn't it? Which one was it that was full of oil? This one? No, that one's full of water. Where is my oil one? I swear I had an oil. Did I not have an oil jerry can? Ah, that's the one full of oil. Let's just say we'll. Actually, no, we don't need to use this one. We can keep this one. I know why I kept that one in there, because I can dump the oil out of my other car engine into there. Um, that's why I put that in there and wasn't too fast. Okay. Engine. Because, of course, we are unbelievably strong. This is a realistic way. It's actually the easiest way to uh, transfer oil between engines. Is rather, There's no point to siphon this out. I might as well just uh, carry an engine about much easier to do it like this. Um, Alright, that can go there. I feel like this car is almost ready to go. I feel like I feel like this car is almost set. Um, we'll put a cleaning supply on the roof. We'll load up the spare jerry cans and stuff into the boot because it is always useful to have extras around the place. You never know when you're going to need a jerry can of some stuff. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh Okay, thank God for that. Maybe let's not put this cl so, quite so close so it doesn't glitch out. Uh, ah, yes, we've got the hubcap shining to go um, while we keep an eye out for rabbits. We can use a sponge at least for these. Uh, right, we have it yet. Yeah, don't worry, I haven't forgotten. We have got the mini turbos hanging around. That can just go over there somewhere. Uh, right, hubcap on there. We have got this hubcap for... This side, uh, we will check for rabbits, and there is no sign of them. We're going to go and have another sleep, I think. Uh, it has been a long. Has it been a long day? Um, it's been a lot, long, a lot of work getting this car. It's been an hour to get this car running. I mean, we are kind of like fully restoring this one. We've got everything we need. It's really rare you get this much stuff in one go, um, so it is, it is nice. Uh, right, sorry, I'll do you some donations as well. Uh, Paul Davis, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, loving the regular long drive streams. Uh, it's always fun to watch the glitch fest that <laughs> this game provides. Uh, also, any updates on the uh, Driven Till Destruction series? Any possible tracks, etc.? Uh, best of luck with the IRL Fury rebuild. Uh, there, I'm not going to say too much, but Driven Till Destruction is closer than you think. Let's just put it like that. Um, yeah. That may well be making a comeback shortly uh, on that one. I'm glad, I mean, I'm really enjoying it. This game works so well. It's such a good game for sort of a stream format, uh, shall we say. It is, uh, it is a perfect one for, for a stream format, um, which is always yeah, it's wonderful. I've been really enjoying actually playing this. It's, it's, been, it's been highly entertaining for me, and I'm glad all of you um, are enjoying this as well means I can keep going. It means I can keep playing more of this. Oh, I actually went into the thing. I was going to grab one of the wire brushes, because I'm not going to take all the wire brushes with me. I can't. I don't need all of them. Uh, I'll just use this one on the last bits and pieces of car while we're out here. Um, but yeah, we will... Uh, there will be there will be some Driven Till Destruction in the not-too-crazy-distant future, uh, basically. That can go on there. Uh, I can't be bothered to unload the sponges, so we'll have one slightly less shiny hubcap on the front, but it'll still do the job. Uh, when we find a, a sponge floating around in the wind, shall we say, 
uh, that will probably come with us. So we have got a full jerry can of water in the car, in the cabin. We've got a half a jerry can of water in the boot. So that's if we get uh, really desperate. We will have jerry cans here for fuel or for whatever we might possibly find that we need. Um, this one here can also go into the car. Fantastic. We've got a nicely... Uh, Nicely loaded boot. This thing is an hour, just a wreckmobile. Uh, we might as well have some of the chorizo before we go. Check for rabbity buggers, just in case. Um, can we... Can I drink from this, do we reckon? Is there going to be a way? I wish there was a way to like just drink from the tap. It doesn't seem to be, because I don't really want to... Uh, it's a pain in the ass drinking from the jerry cans all the time. I don't know if there is a way to drink from the... Um, I don't know if any of these got water in them. Alcohol just dehydrates you. That's oil, that's not good. That's gas, that's also not going to help, and that's empty. No, no, those are any good. <laughs> Bloody hell. Uh, Rabbity Bugger, thank you very much for the uh, donation. <laughs> Say, hi Alex, big fan of the channel, keep up the good work. Can you stop trying to kill me? Please, Rabbity Buggers, please stop trying to eat me. It would be really appreciated if you would stop trying to eat me, okay? Can we maybe just go for that? Just less eating? Less eating of the Alex would be preferable. What? Well, we've got Jeff the Third. Jeff the Third, you can come in the fury. Um... You can sit in here. Uh, Jeff the Third shall be our passenger seat mascot. There we go. Um, can I? How do I spin Jeff the Third around so he's not being quite so rude? There we go. There we go. Uh, Jeff the Third is. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I guess we could fill bottles. That would make sense. It's a bit of a faffy way to do it, but yeah, let's do that. Um, whoop. Uh, it's a shame you can't, because if I could get underneath that tap, we could, uh... I'll just get rid of the alcohol from there. Um... Right, so... That's a surprisingly large amount of alcohol in that one. So, if we do... Uh... That may be... I think there's a better way to do it than this. I'm sure there is a better way to do it than this. Uh, oh, for God's sake. It's so fiddly. <laughs> is there not a way to... You know what? Screw it. I will just drink from the jerry can or from a radiator of a passing car. That's, I, I, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done faffing about with that stuff. Um, I'm, I'm done. Where's my water jerry can? This one here. Sweet. Um, Arctic Rebel, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, please show us what the colour uh, the bonnet was on your old car. Okay, I can absolutely go and do that one. Um, that is no problem at all. We have got we've got a spare brush to go and find out what uh, the colour is on, on this bonnet. Um, I'm going to guess it's some sort of terrible frosty gold. Oh. Yep. <laughs> what a terrible colour car that one was. I mean, it was funny, but yeah, what a terrible machine that one was. Now, I'm not going to take the sun visors or number plates. They are unique to that car. Um, for the next person who comes along and finds this vehicle, I know, you know, they won't. But for the story-wise, that shall be unique to that car. I and mean, we're going to paint the Fury blue, aren't we? Because uh, actually, this looks like a nice, a nice colour, a nice blue colour to have our Fury in. So let's go and give it a try, shall we? It's going to be like a nice sort of turquoise colour, which is awesome. Uh, that is actually a really nice colour car. I very much like that. Uh, <laughs> sweet! We can have a, uh, a nice turquoise machine. Uh, now we can also be a bit sneaky. I say we can be a sneaky. But we can basically reload any paint colour. You can reload your current colour with any you find around, which is really helpful. Uh, so we shall do that. 
uh, we can get the bonnet of this car. Uh, while this is going on, uh, Kean Lane, thank you very much for the donation. Saying we get cat cam occasionally, but will we ever get doggo cam? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Will we get doggo cam? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe we'll see Doggo Cam. I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> yet, yet to decide. Um, Doggo is currently fast asleep on my foot, so uh, it's not a huge amount to see uh, currently. Maybe, maybe if uh, if everyone is really nice and Apollo decides to be friendly, uh, maybe we'll see a Doggo Cam. Uh, we'll have to wait and find out on that one. Okay, the Fury is looking. Pretty good. Uh, extra dip. Thank you very much for the donation. Uh, so a little thanks for all the years of uh, laughs, uh, feel good energy and entertainment uh, racing. Uh, also, have you seen slash opinion on the new Beam NG supercar? I have seen it. It looks good. Um, I haven't played around with it. I think the update came out today, actually. Uh, I know Beam had an update today. Uh, so <laughs> I think... I think that car came out today, um, but it looks cool. It's nice to see another vehicle in Beam. It's, it's interesting to see them do a modern supercar uh, rather than sort of older machines. So, yeah, I am uh, interested to see how it's going to drive and all that. Um, yeah, it's cool. It's, it's, a fun, it's a fun little addition to, uh, to have, have in the game. Um, more cars is more good at the end of the day when it comes to Beam. Right, let's get the uh, triple turbo setup going on the Fury. All right, let's just check. Coolant is full. Oil tank is full. That's the bonnet is shut. The fuel tank has got as much gas as I have in it. Tires pristine. Uh, let's just chuck. And there's any spray bottles. That, that's got three uses. It's better than nothing. That can go in the boot. Uh, they are all empty. I think, folks. Oh, that's got that's got a little bit of gas. You know, I will take any gas that we can get. We're going to have spent so long restoring this car. We are totally dying the second we set off. Don't worry, we'll check for the ammo, but I have got to move the car first. Uh, <laughs> have got to move the car. Here we go. The car lives. The Fury does live as we are going to uh, wander our way out of the garage. No, the ammo has just ceased to exist. The ammo has flown off into the ether. We are down to three bullets. That's really annoying, but there's nothing I can do about it. Um, there is nothing that I can do about that one. So that's a pain in the ass. Oh, I will. I will save the game. Not because I'll reload if I die, but I am going to save it in case the game crashes. Because uh, sometimes that happens. So we will, we will save that. And we will carry on. Here we go. The monster is ready. Now, where's the road? Anybody see the road anywhere? Uh, <laughs> anybody see the road? I think it's over here. Goodbye, truck. Oh, I am I am so worried this is going to glitch out. <laughs> I'm so worried this is going to glitch out. However, we've got a snake. I, I've been carrying it on me. There was like three siphons in the garage. Uh, it's the, there were so many siphons around there. Um, okay. Turbo machine. Let's go for a wander. Let's go for a drive. Let's see what happens. In fact, this speedo is terrible on this car. It goes up to 120. We, go way, we will be going way faster than that. Um, hopefully. I say that, that's already hitting a limiter? That doesn't seem right. Hold on. Why is... That does not seem right. 90 seems incorrect in terms of a speed for this car. Ugh. Oh, game. Why? Why did we fly over that? We should have had the ground clearance to clear that rock. Um, that was that was not so good. Um, hmm. Oh, there is one of our hubcaps already off. Um, I, it might be miles an hour rather than kilometers, which would kind of make sense. But I've seen these go way faster than that. I've seen these go a lot quicker than that. So, 
I don't quite know why. Um, that is going that speed. It should go. It should go quicker than ninety miles an hour. Um, yeah. E either way, we've had way, way faster vehicles than that. Um, oh, wow! We've already found a place to stop immediately. Well, that's a fortuitous game. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, something's not right. Something's not right. <laughs> what are you? Oh, we've got some more gas. Some more gas is good. That that I will take. Um, hmm. It is it is the, the the game's basic V8 from this one, but uh, yeah, that's odd. Uh, it. I say I don't know whether it should. I might have to put it into a manual uh, mode, uh, possibly, and see if I can stop it from being derpy. Basically, uh, right. We have got our first number plate at least stolen and added to the car. Um. Hmm. Uh, the tire. The tires won't be glitched because that's only when you initially load the game. Hmm. All uh, right. We will. Uh, we'll turn off auto. Turn off auto shift. Uh, I'll keep the auto clutch. What is actually gears? Because I don't know what. I love that there is a button. I love. I love that it's called piss fart. Those are your buttons. <laughs> um. I swear I did know what gear up and gear down were. Maybe. Possibly. Um, yeah, I, I'm... Oh, well, I think... People say it's automatic. Um, unless the turbos are causing some problems with something in this... Which is is uh, up. okay. Let's try. Okay, so the up arrow on the All right. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. We see. Oh, game, don't lag like that on me. Um, yeah. Okay, so we've got arrow keys up and down. No, we we are. We seem to be top out at a hundred. <laughs> hmm. This does not seem great. This does not seem great at all. Um, yeah, we're, when we get to the next stopping area, I'm going to take off the little turbos and we're going to just run the big turbo and see what happens uh, in in all of this. Uh, right, uh, uh, luck, luck to be. Thank you very much for an incredibly generous donation. Hold on, I shall read the stuff in a second. We are just barreling along currently. Oh, workshop. Ooh. What is it? I say what is going on. The spawns for the buildings have been amazing here. Um, that is quite impressive. That is quite impressive indeed. Uh, hello, workshop. Let's see what we can do here. So far, the fury has been letting me down a little bit. So, tiny turbos. Uh, you can go in the boot. Let's just work off of the massive giga turbo. <laughs> Uh, until we find an even bigger turbo. I don't know if that's as big a turbo as they go. I mean, that's a, not a bad one. That's that's what I call a turbo. Um, we've got this. I mean, it's not a terrible car. We've got bullets for a revolver. Not really what I need. I could do with bullets for an AK, but I will take revolver bullets while I'm here. Um... I'll take some more gas. Yeah, that's not a bad turbo. <laughs> that's not a bad turbo. We will take that one with us as well. Sure. Um, 
until we can figure out what's going on with the car. I mean, I know I, I know in, in real life if it's gear ratios, it's a problem, but we're talking about a modded game with modded parts, and who knows what it takes to confuse this game. So, yeah, we'll just run it with a... We'll run it with just one turbo and see what happens. We will go and have a sleep inside this workshop as well uh, while we while we wait. Um, that's fine. Okay, sorry. Donations. Let's get back to reading these. Uh, R5DT uh, Howdy, thank you very much uh, for the donation. Uh, Valcheck, thank you very much for the donation. I say hi, Alex. I've been watching your channel for a long time. I remember you watching. Remember watching you from Fail Race episode two. I've always watched since that day. That is a long, long time ago. Uh, here, here is my joke. Uh, there are three types of people in this world: uh, those who can count and those who can't. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, indeed. That is definitely that is definitely going to be a boo to you from chat. And uh, and from me on that one, but thank you very much uh, for the uh, for the donation. Uh, Red Robin, thank you for the donation. Say hello, Alex. Have another pound for the Furies engine. Uh, hopefully, the real Furies rebuild goes better uh, than the one for your in-game Fury. Less rabbity bugger death, IRL. I mean, there is, there has been less rabbity bugger de bugger death in real life. Uh, there have been more problems with the uh, real-life Fury than there are with the fictional one, I can tell you that much. Uh, <laughs> it has been a lot more problems with the real-life car. Um, but, as far as I'm aware, there have been no rabbit-related deaths. This does feel much better. Okay, it, the, whoa! No game! Stop doing that! Stop lagging the second the turbos start kicking in. Oh, get out of the way of the truck! That truck is out of control. Um, <laughs> that truck is absolutely out of control. Okay, this definitely... Uh, there was obviously something going on with those turbos. Because, I mean, that got to 90 and the turbo wasn't even spooling properly. It's still not spooling here. There we go. I mean, it's better... It's still not as good as I thought it was. Um, we are definitely... Um, there is a mod that I have seen that I'm going to have to uh, install that allows you to adjust gear ratios. I think we're going to have to get that for this so we can maybe make the most of Turbo Fury next time. I didn't think we are going to have this problem with the car. Uh, it is off. The turbos are a go. This is more like it. It's definitely better is definitely better. I mean, it feels a lot more stable than the cars we have been driving. I mean, rocks can still creep up on us here. Uh, we will start slowing this down. Oh, there's been so many houses along the way here today. It's very unlike the game. In fact, this is another awesome house. These are the best type This is one of the best types of buildings. Um... That we can, that we can come across. This is almost as good as the bloody uh, massive restaurant that we just went through. I wonder what you might contain here, uh, building of wonder. I don't really like the long grass, that's always horrible to deal with, but... So we're going to park our car a little bit out of the long grass, for the time being. Um, we've got the shell of a car. Oh, game is a little bit like... Oh, we've got a trailer! Shall we bring a trailer? I feel like that's asking for trouble. Uh, we're mostly looking for ammo. Um... Not a bucket of alcohol, particularly. Uh, we're looking for ammo. If we could get any of that, that would be good. I'll take a jerry can of gas while I can get it. That's always helpful. Uh, now, we're more likely to find... Where are rabbity buggers? Stuff upstairs in this house, I think. So, we will uh, wander up there. Uh, potentially, then. There should be a barrel around by this door. This sometimes has good stuff in it. It does not have anything this time. Sometimes you find guns lying around outside this house. Uh, we're just look I mean, we're looking for AK ammo at this point. Um, we don't need the trailer, it's just whether we bring one for fun. Oh, well, we have just kicked the fridge over. Jeez, that was, uh, we were unbelievably strong on that one. Ah, we have found random fridge bacon. Awesome. I do love a good bit of random fridge bacon. <laughs> Can't go wrong with some uh, some random fridge bacon that you find in the middle of the apocalypse. 
Nothing, nothing could go wrong at all with that. Um, right. Fury. Let's go line you up to the house so we can climb on the roof in the least glitchy way possible. That sounded terrible. But... There we go. Okay. Ah, oh, no. Never mind. I thought that was a box of bullets. It's not. It's some oil. Yeah, we need to go to the toilet. We will crap off the roof. Sure. Let's do that. While we make horrible sounds, I shall read donations. Uh, Lado, thank you very much for the uh, donation. I don't know why that turd just got thrown at the screen. Uh, it's like, I saw a Mexican magician today who can disappear on the count of three. He said, uno, dos, poof. He disappeared without a trace. We are definitely going to give Lado a boo for for that one. That is going to be a, a boo, a boo to Lado. But thank you for the donation. Uh, Tom FXT, uh, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, uh, hello Alex, are you planning to do some IRL car stuff in the future? Uh, yes, um, there absolutely is plans to be doing that. Um, also maybe a, a Fury rebuild series. I'm not doing the Fury. I'm not doing the, the work on the car myself. I couldn't. Uh, no, no, nowhere near. I mean, it's got to have like the cylinders reboard and everything. So e even if I knew a lot about mechanics, which I don't, even if I did, it would have to go off to a specialist anyway. So uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing, not doing the work myself. Um, but when I do get it back, there will be some videos on it. Um, the plan is, uh, say, eventually to sell it. I was trying to buy a house, um, but I can't sell it with a knackered engine so uh yeah there's plans to change a little bit but there will be some more videos on the fury um i mean i might be lucky i say might be lucky by the time the work's done i might have got the deposit money together without needing to sell it we'll have to wait and see on that though that's a long shot really um but uh yeah we will wait and see on that front but there is gonna be more real life car stuff uh, i've got some plans for all sorts of bits and pieces actually so uh yeah keep an eye out keep an eye out for uh for that stuff, and yeah, there will be there will be more fury, more fury content uh, in the near future. Um, I say near future; it'll depend, but yeah, it won't be the um, it, it won't it won't be uh, oh, me rebuilding it. Uh, I don't need another crate. There's so many siphons in this playthrough, which is quite funny. Uh, sometimes you can really struggle to find siphons, and this one here, there has got. Uh, Absolutely stacks. Doesn't look like there's anything fun in here, actually. It's just like paint. I'm not even going to worry about that. No, <laughs> it's not worth me trying to get into that. And we will slide off the roof and climb into our machine. Uh, yeah, luck, luck be. Thank you very much uh, for that uh, for that incredibly generous donation. Um, the petrol head, thank you for the donation. I say, Alex, just remembered uh, the times and fun you had with uh, Moobot and all the antics you got up uh, to. Uh, yeah, Moobot was fun to mess around with. Um, yeah, those good old those good old bots could uh, could be fun to uh, to play around with and, and break or <laughs> whatever it was. I don't actually know if there's an equivalent in YouTube. I don't really know much about YouTube live streaming. I'm just gonna let that AI car go. I feel like uh, that's gonna cause. Oh, it's a police car. Yeah, off you go. You can go and do your thing. Um, you can you can head off there, um, but uh, yeah. Also, also a joke time. What did the farmer say when he tripped and fell on a frozen corn stalk? Uh, I've <laughs> I've been stalked. That's going to be a boo to you from chat, and indeed from me. Oh, there's a boat. Do I bother going to get the boat? Maybe we will see. Um, old game, don't do that. Don't lag. You know what? Well, I'm going to bail. If it starts lagging, I think I'm just going to throw my car off the road away from the um, lampposts. Lamp posts. Well, the, the power lines, whatever you want to call it. I feel like this car is a little bit better at running over the um, edge of the roads. Definitely feels like it's a little bit better running over there. And gravity is doing fairly well for helping us speed up at the moment. But yeah, the car's still spinning the wheels at 120 miles an hour, and the car is still spinning the wheels. Uh-oh, rock. Ooh. I was trying to do little movements, and uh, I didn't want to get the car spinning, but I almost didn't do enough movements. 
to get myself out of trouble there. That could have been a really big crash. Thankfully, it was not. Oh, yeah, car's a little wobbly. Um, but it is more stable than the last few cars I've driven. We're actually able to push this fairly quickly. Uh, I haven't checked the glove compartment. I just saw somebody said, I can't do it now, though. Not while I'm driving. That's asking for death. Uh, I mean, I'm already asking for death running in the oncoming lane if a car spawns in in front of us, but I do tend to drive along the oncoming lane. Uh, as I said, the, the reason being, if we spin, we have a... Oh, there's a, another big house. What is going on? This has been one of the most amazing set of spawns I've ever seen. This is incredible. Um... This one here's got a shiny trailer in it. Bloody hell. This is remarkable, to say the least. Uh, I can't... I, I don't think I've ever found this many exciting spawns. Not that they necessarily have the stuff that I'm looking for in the buildings, but you just don't normally find this much stuff full stop. This many opportunities. Um, so that is really cool. Uh, Livcott, thank you very much for the uh, for the donation. It's like a profound joke. Here we go. Uh, love is like a fart. If you have to force it, force it all you will. Uh, if you have to force it, all you will get is crap. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> uh, who who knew we were going to have uh, philosophical uh, f philosophical moments with fail race comparing love to a fart but yeah you are not wrong you are not wrong in that uh, metaphor if you will uh, oh come on now and there we go uh, that is some gas lovely stuff that's what we want uh, if you could just get me some AK bullets please uh, that would be helpful wait hold on Oh, come on, come on! <laughs> I hate, I hate these. I hate this window. It's such a pain in the ass. Um, I, f I feel like I just mash buttons and then you kind mm. of hope. Oh, I don't know what I did there. Ah. <laughs> There we go, we've made it in. Many, many mashing of buttons later, and we made it in. Again, not that there is much of any excitement. A little bit of oil, which we might need. There is the flying broomstick. There's a bunch of alcohol. Apollo, don't you, don't tell me. You've farted again, haven't you? I had to make sure he hadn't crapped in my office. Buddy, you stink. Oh, he's not paying any attention to me, funnily enough. Bloody farty dog. <laughs> oh, I swear, he is terrible for farting when I am doing this. Um, oh, dip. Uh, someone said I haven't seen any rabbits. That does make me nervous. That does make me nervous that we haven't seen any. There's one over there. Just chilling around. Don't have the ammo to uh, try and shoot at it anymore. Uh, I do need. I do need a hazmat suit. I need more than that. Bloody hell. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. This the office is currently. Um, what's it called? Uh, quarantined. There we go. I know the words. The important big words and all that. Um, we're definitely. We have definitely got to have the uh, quarantined quarantined dog I mean the good news is, is he's being well behaved and he's kind of chill at the moment so that's easier to deal with just farting but chill um, yeah all, all of our rabbits for today have spawned in the first 30 seconds well, that's not uncommon when we play this game uh, not uncommon at all actually when we play this one does this place have let's see if I can be lazy and drink water from somewhere here um I don't think so. 
All right. Well, it's cool to find a golf. They're they're always fun. Uh, not that we'd say. So not that we're going to be swapping our vehicle out. Now I am. Go I know this is slightly sacrilege, but I am going to try. We don't worry. We're keeping the Giga Turbo. However, out of in the interest of science, I'm going to take the turbo off, and we are going to see. I'm going to test performance, basically. If I take the turbo off, um, how that affects the performance of the car. Uh, oh, we did forget to close the oil cap. Thank you. Uh, let's see how this car does. So we know with the turbo it would do 120, and that was kind of it. Uh, there is the road. Uh, so we're going to see, if it does 120 without the turbo, then, uh, you know, I say what's the point in running it other than turbo noises. Uh, we will, we'll, we'll try. We, we will test this, whoa, to see game. Can you not? Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm just, this is more for my own, uh, my, my own test. Uh, and maybe we can find a, a thing that works until I can get the um, mod that will allow me to change gear ratios. There were some rabbits around by the road. So, yeah, by the looks of it, the gear ratios... I mean, it's just as fast without the turbo. Essentially. Nothing I can do. I can't do anything um, with the gearbox because... This is already in manual mode, but the car's automatic. They've got an automatic gearbox, so we're not going to be able to change any of that. Is that another? What is going on with these building spawns? This is ridiculous. We're going to get to a point where suddenly everything is going to stop spawning. Um, we're just going from building to building. Oh, hello, dog. You have woken up. Now you're going to go cause. I have to say something about him being chill and calm. And now he's going to probably be not chill and not calm. Uh, right. Let's go. That's just a radio. Let's go up onto the roof. Let's go have a sleep up here. Everything is good. Uh, ah. Uh, top Ui, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying the tuning mod also allows you to adjust the engine torque and suspension adjustments. Uh, damping uh, spring rate uh, does not save, so you need to readjust after loading. Okay, that's that's not too bad. Um, that's not too bad. I can live with that. I mean, the main thing, uh, the, main, the only thing I'll really be using it for is, is for, for, for gearbox. I just want to have proper gear ratios. Um, that'd be the only thing that I'd... I care about, so to speak, uh, on, on that front, like suspension. Yeah, suspension's bouncy, but that's, I say, half the fun. That's that's how it's going to be. Um, so, yeah, we will uh, we will have a play around with that um, for next time out. This place here is not great. What the hell's that? I actually know what that is. Nothing exciting, I'll say that much. Ah, we've got some of the uh, chorizo here. We could have that. Uh, we have got a sponge. That's quite good. Ah, we've lost a hubcap. I'm going to check for rabbits. I oh, thought that was a, like a safe. No, that's just the door from the back of the truck. Um, hmm. Hmm. See this one here? There, this is the hubcap that needs is shining up. That we can do. That's easy enough. Um, but yeah, we have lost the other Fury hubcap. In uh, that, well, that sponge was crap. Uh, we lost that somewhere away in one of the crashes. I mean, it's not the end of the world. We will, I'm sure. Oh wow, that rear tire. That tire was brand new. We've completely screwed up the tire. That is a big concern, actually. That's what the wheel spinning has done to that tyre. It's only really spun up one, though. I mean, it does make sense. Uh, one tyre fire and all that. Uh, I just did see... A spray bottle. You are not going to fix this wheel up fully, but... You will keep it going. 
Wow, that wheel is completely screwed. Uh, is there another spray bottle I can use here? Sometimes you can find them in the ceiling. Uh, nope, we've just got the oil cans. Hmm. Oh well. There was a reason why we bought a bunch with us. That is not ideal. That is really not being ideal. I think I've managed to waste half of these. Um, spray, there we go. Alright, uh, sweet. That will work for us. Uh, oh, is there a brand new white wall? Whoops. Oh well. <laughs> uh, we fixed up the tire that we had. Um, oh, it was brand new as well. Ah, fair enough. Well, that's going in the boot. Well, well we've now got two brand new white walls. Where did the actual wheel go? Anyone seen the wheel? Oh, they leave it outside. I think I did. Um, we will, yeah, we will, we will take that, that tire, and that can go in the boot because we're inevitably going to need it uh, at some point. Actually, what I might do is if oh, that tire there looks good, but that surprises me that it would manage to do that much damage on one side. Um, well, the boot's rather full. This can go in the back seat. <laughs> What's that? A very rusty radio. Sure. Whatever. I don't really need a rusty radio. Okay. Jeff the Third. Could you, perchance, look after the spare tyre as well? Okay. You can have it like a... Like a necklace or so, actually, no, that can go in the back. Awesome! Uh, that will do. Do we have... Oh, a lot of lag. We do indeed. Um, that's full of diesel. Not going to drink that. Hello, doggy. Do we, do we, do we want to have a dog camera? Uh, do we want to have... I'll see if we can... There's no guarantee this is going to work. Um, there is absolutely no guarantee if this is going to work. We're going to see if Apollo is going to come and say hello to the camera. Just give me a second. Try and get some light in the office so you can possibly see. Uh, hello, I am here. Apollo, you gonna come up? Here we go. Good boy. Are you are you are you gonna be tall enough? Are you gonna come and you gonna come and sit on the? Uh, come on, you're a very big. Uh, say you're a very big dog. You gotta come up. Come on. He just wants to look out the window. That's right. No, go on. Up, up. <laughs> he is apparently shy. He normally has absolutely no problem just jumping on. Like he is. I mean, he's nearly seven months now, and he is not a small puppy. He still thinks he's a lap dog. Um, <laughs> Come on, up. Come on. Hold on, give me a second. Give me a second. I'm going to try and get comfy. All right, let's try again. Apollo, up. Come here. Come on. Nope. Nope, we're not going to have dog. <laughs> Come on, up. Up. Oh. He doesn't normally have problems managing to do this. Uh, <laughs> now he's just going to... He's just going to... What are you doing? Come on, up. Polo. Come on. You're going to come up. Come on. Nope, he's gonna he's he's gonna be silly. That's what he's gonna do. He's because he knows he's on camera. That's that's all that's all it is. We just see a waggy tail going. Now you smacked your head on the desk. Come on up. Come on up. <laughs> he is not very clever. <laughs> Come on, buddy, you can do this. There we go. I've had to kind of half pick him up. Uh, <laughs> Nope, nope. He's he, well. He said hello briefly. What's up, buddy? What's up? What's up? He's now just got excited. Um, yeah, he has he has grown a huge amount. Um, hello. Yes, I know. I know. Uh, <laughs> but yes, this is the farty distraction dog that we have going on. Um, but yeah, he has just wandered off. Uh, sometimes, sometimes he'll do it. Sometimes he won't. Um, hello. Sprite, normally he'll figure it out. Normally he just wants to come say hello, but uh, 
yeah, apparently today we're just going to be a bit silly. I'm going to blow. I say he's not not that he's going to know that the camera's on, but there we go. Um, yes, now I'm just getting my leg licked. Why are you licking my leg, you weird dog? Uh, <laughs> oh, dogs are strange. Dogs are strange indeed. Uh, right, where on earth were we with all of this? Um, I mean, I think we might as well carry on. There's no bullets here. Uh, there's a couple of rabbits in the distance. And... I think we may as well just head out. Oh. Uh, we could do... We'll get some water at our, uh, at our next stop. There's no real... I, I say there's no real rush. To, I think we'll... We've got enough water. In fact, actually, we'd probably even drink from here if needed. I think we could actually manage to... to yeah, we could. Oh. Although, we can also drive over a... Uh, oh, we're going to look in the glove box, weren't we? See if there's anything fun in there. Uh, the answer to that question is no. Nothing in there. Uh, <laughs> I'm not I'm not fussed about the radio. I'm never going to use it. So, I'm not that fussed with the radio. It's falling out of the car. Oh, the bus is spawning behind us. I'm going to let the bus go because I know how glitchy and weird AI traffic can be. Uh, although, I think it actually has despawned. Uh, Andrew, thank you very much for the donation. I shall read that when we next stop, because uh, me tr trying to drive is difficult enough at the best of times. Me trying to read and drive is liable to uh, end in a really big crash. Uh, so, <laughs> so yeah, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that stuff. Uh, we're going to oh, just run flat out with the V8 uh, power in this. Except no turbo at the moment. Uh, oh god, here we go. We've done 13 miles so far in the Fury. 13 slightly troublesome miles. Uh, or kilometers. I'm not sure what the distance is going to be tracking in this car. I mean, I would presume it would be miles in th theory, although, yeah, I have no idea. Because, um, I mean, if the speedo's in miles, that would be in miles as well. But I think the game in general is in kilometers, so... Who knows whether... I'm not going to worry about it, because it's not like it really matters at the end of the day. Will alert to people. Thank you very much. Uh, I am currently barreling down the road far too quickly uh, and liable to have an accident, so I shall read those messages. Old game, don't do the little jittering. That is scary. I'm, I like that this car can run over the edge of the road without freaking out. How many times did I get launched to orbit? Oh, although I just started losing the back end there. Uh, I don't know whether that I touched the dirt and started sliding or what happened. We did just, just start uh, having trouble through that section. Uh, we are coming up barreling past the uh, <laughs> the Danger Man bus right there. Uh, oh no, game! Don't get your slight laggy thing going on. Um, we are going to have all sorts of problems if you do. Um, it's fine. All is good. There was a rock in the road that I was I didn't see until it was too late. Thankfully, it was a small enough rock that uh, it did not really matter too much. Uh, that's just a rock spawning in. Uh, I mean, I see no reason why we can't just go across the desert, to be honest. This thing is surprisingly smooth. I say that, and I'm going to get myself in trouble at... Uh, at some point with this, we're gonna. I'm going to have a very silly accident. Whoa, that is an out of control larder or something. Uh, this little bit of road is very wibbly and wobbly. Um, no wonder the AI were having trouble pathfinding. What the hell was that? There were just bits of vehicle there. <laughs> I don't know, like. I understand, like, bits do fall off the vehicles in some crashes and everything, sure, but I don't normally see, like, because there weren't any vehicles around for that to have happened. Oh! Okay, that just got, that just bobbled. We all everything fine? Did we lose? I don't think we lost anything important, really. I lost a hubcap. Don't, uh, yeah, not not gonna go to searching for one of those. If we have them, awesome. Um, I can have a look at the tire wear. I think the front tires are okay. 
Yeah, the front tyres are doing alright. That one... Nah, the tyres seem okay for the moment. Yeah, that was just a little bit of... Uh, just once it started moving around, it got a little bit unhappy. Oh, I'll read donations while we're here. Uh, yeah, Andrew, thank you for the uh, for the donation. I was like, have you heard of the one about herbs and fish? Uh, you have to be at the right place at the right time. <sighs> that is going to be a boo to you from chatting from me. Uh, also, that turbo needs to be on the dash to stay <laughs> cool. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Dash-mounted turbos are the way to go. Uh, we all... Uh, we all know that is how it works. Um, Everts, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, cute puppy, who has currently shoved his face in front of the aircon. Is it warm? Is that why you're shoving your face in front? I think he likes the aircon. I think dog approves of the aircon. Uh, <laughs> uh, fail, 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 con, fail con. I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. Um, but thank you very much for the donation. Saying, Gordon Ramsay drives a cool car. It's a chef relay. That's definitely, definitely going to be a boo to you from chat and indeed from me. Uh, I have just seen a... Oh, we'll go across in front of that car. Don't mind the bright blue fury driving around. We'll go over here. It's not going to have much, but it might have... Might have some ammo. Ammo is really the big concern that I've got here. With everything that's gone on, I've, act I've only got three bullets and that, once they're gone, that's it. That that's it. I don't have even a backup BB gun. Uh, so, oh, that's a lot of blood. <laughs> that's a lot of blood going on in there. Uh, that's some... The gas is useful, though. Uh, just trying to, again, this is the constant just checking for anything that uh, we might find. I don't know what, what's gone on at this house uh, as to why there isn't any four litres of blood. <laughs> so, I'm not going to ask too many questions. I don't know if anything spawns on the roof of these buildings. I'll have a check just in case. Doesn't look like it. Um, so, there we go. Uh, right, we will jump back in here. Um, we will... There we go. We will set off. I, there is red paint, but I like my car as it is. So... <laughs> it, shall, it shall stay like this for the moment. Uh, yeah, there are no rabbity buggers around, but you never know. You just don't know when they're going to turn up. I mean, we sort of had so many at the start. I don't know whether that's because I loaded the game in. Um... I don't know whether that's how it works. Possibly. Um, oh, did I leave the gas cap open? I did leave the gas cap open. Whoops. There we go. We got away with it. It's fine. Well, oh wait, hold on. Is the camera? I was gonna say cam. No, the roof line is really low at the back. That's really difficult to see. <laughs> uh, also, actually, what we'll do is we will have a drink while we wait. <laughs> In fact, I'll have a drink in real life as well. I shall hydrate as my character hydrates. Perfect. Uh, we've got loads of water, which is good. Alright. There we go. That can... Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's close that. That will make us a lot happier. Perfect. Okay. We are good to carry on. I mean, what, what 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 are we looking for? What is going to be... I mean, one of the modded V8s actually might help. That might be the way to go. If we can come across one. Not that I have seen one uh, in this playthrough. I don't know if they possibly aren't spawning, or it's just possible they're very rare. Uh, last, I have seen a couple of them, but... Uh, ooh. Oh, well, we've got a workshop immediately up here. Okay, let's see if we can find... If, if we could... If we could find... Oh. Whoa, this is all spawned. It's spawned in fridges on fridges. Uh, <laughs> sure, we'll go for it. Um, right. What might we find in here? 
What might we find? Everything! Anything good, though. You've got to have some ammo, surely, in this hoarder's paradise of guff. Um... <laughs> Oh. Wait, don't throw that. I heard a noise. I don't know what it was. Oh, okay. That was what it was. A bus had turned up. Uh, <laughs> bus had turned up. There's even more blood going on here. That's empty. Is that a turd on a stick? Why? Oh! <gasps> Oh, this is what we're talking about. Yes, you beautiful game. 5.4 litre V8. It's not a big V8. It's not the biggest one you can get. It doesn't look in great condition. I don't know whether I can uh, wire brush it. But. But I bring good news. And I'm going to have a nap. Um... So gonna have an app. We're going to go to sleep, pretty much. Uh, oh. Let's go have a sleep. Uh, we might swap the engine. We might run the new engine to see how much power it puts out, see if the gear ratios are better. We, we genuinely, I don't know. I, I've only ever run, like, one uh, of those V8s, and it was good. But, I mean, we're running a whole different, we're in a whole different ball game now. Uh, I don't know whether this can be fixed. It looks slightly rusty, but that might just be how this engine looks. Naturally, I don't think this is doing much. Um, doesn't look like that's doing anything, does it? Uh, now, so I mean, the, the, the engine in this car is great. The engine in this car is great, but the problem is that the gear ratios are just not working for us. Um, when we whack a massive turbo in it, it can't really do anything because it just runs out of gearing. Uh, God, there's so much junk. If they Oh, there's a Fury V8 in here as well. Can oh, dear. Oh, dear. Can different... So, the wonderful folks of chat, I'm going to presume if I stick this engine in the car... This will have the same gear ratios, right? They're not unique to the engine, as far as I'm aware. Now, these engines are different because they're modded. Um, so, God knows how that's going to pan out um, in all of this mayhem. Don't need a truck tyre. That can go over here. Uh, that's oil. That's a lot of oil we've got going on there. Uh... What are you? A bucket of a lot of things. Um, right, cause yeah, I, I was thinking that they probably would be all the same kind of gear ratio. That makes sense. Um, okay, we will try... We will try this. I mean, it's actually, physically speaking, this is quite a small engine. Uh, compared to the one we've just pulled out of the car. I should probably have done a much better uh, search for rabbity buggers, but we didn't. Uh, right. Okay, where is that big drum full of oil? <laughs> uh, you can come with me. Massive drum of oil. The frame rate is absolutely hating this. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll grab a BB gun and stick it in the boot. Hmm. Just gonna have a quick, just have a quick look. Um, we have been right. We ran, I ran a turbo on a modded V8 with the last playthrough, a uh, last bit. I'll give it a try. We'll see what happens. If it breaks, it breaks. Like that's that's a horrible sound. I'm sorry. How do I? Oh, game! Shut up. Uh, there we go. <laughs> that works. 
That's fine. Where did it go? There's one. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Big V8 can go over there. Uh, massive turbo! <laughs> massive turbo. We will close that. A massive turbo can go on the side. Actually, no, we don't put it over the oil because we will need that at some point. Right. Atta oh, no, no, hold on. That's not attached where it should be. Now it's attached where it should be. Awesome! Um, right, we can go on the roof here. Actually, can go on the roof the easy way. Oh, the only thing up here is a toilet. Actually, can we use the toilet? <laughs> that is the worst toilet I've ever seen. Now we're just going to make horrible sounds off of the roof. Uh, Sam, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, have some money uh, for a mask for the backfires from Apollo. That is that is a good idea. Uh, <laughs> and Lado is kind of a new version of Reese. I mean, I never, I say, I never really think like everyone is their own uh, person. Lado helped out with, uh, I say, takes part in a lot of stuff. We've done, it's been in various commentary and so on and builds some of the tracks for us. Um, but yeah, we have all sorts of people. Lots of people help out with the, with the channel and with the, with the building of... Uh, uh, various, uh, various stuff. So yeah, I, personally, I never really sort of compare people in, in such a manner. Um, but yeah, Lano uh, has has been a, a great part of uh, many videos that uh, that we have done. Um, Lotus Skills, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying thanks for all the entertainment from yourself and the rest of your team, uh, keeping me going whilst I'm in hospital. Uh, what do you get if you cross an elephant with a rhinoceros? Uh, L if I know. That is going to be a boo to you from me and from chat, but uh, I do wish you all the best uh, with uh, well, whatever the reason it might be that you're in hospital. Yeah, that is, uh, it sucks. It is not what you want going on. I'm just sat on a roof saying this while we're farting. Is there, have I, can I not get rid of any more of the poo? No, okay, fine. We'll just leave some of the poo bar there. Why not? That's a weird sentence. That is a weird sentence. Can I get the other big turbo? Let's go for double turbos. We'll go for twin turbo. There's definitely absolutely no way this is going to break horrifically. This is definitely, definitely breaking horrifically. I want to kind of take the engine with me in case... Jesus, that was loud. Uh, I don't think, though, I can fit an engine in the boot here. <laughs> Let's see if that stays in place. Place your bets, oh wonderful folks of chat. Is that going to stay in place? Because I'm going to go with a very solid not a chance. But we shall try. I mean, I can't see any bullets in here. I'm not saying there is none anywhere. Um, I mean, I've got revolver ammo. I'll take the revolver ammo. Uh, I might as well, though. I haven't got a revolver at the moment. Yeah, I haven't seen AK ammo. But, uh... I'll take this for when we do come across a revolver. Actually, that's probably the biggest thing that I need at the moment. Is, uh... Ammo. For my guns. I, I mean, I can grab a BB gun, but I, the problem I will get... I'll take this just in case. Um... But I don't have any ammo for it. Oh, okay, never mind. There is an ammo box there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the reason why I've swapped the engine over is gear ratios. Now, I think the Fury engine is good. But the gear ratios are crap. I can only do 120. And we want to do more than 120, basically. Um, so, yeah, we're going to try... We're going to try running the different engine and see what happens, basically. Uh, I'm just having a rummage through this crap. Sorry for the horrific noise we have going on. Um, I can't be bothered with the baskets. We've got so, we've got so much stuff with us at the moment. We're finding so much, so many buildings, actually, that there's so many PP guns in here. I'm not really all that fast. Um... Let's munch our way through that. Some oil in there, some oil in there, that's fine. 
Uh, right, okay. We're going to run this. We're gonna see, I'm going to see what happens. It might overheat. I th I'm hoping the engine is going to be physics locked into the boot. Technically, it's not in the boot. However, I think it might have been physics locked. Um... Because it was kind of like, it's, it's in the boot, but not in the boot. That's the hope. Um, we've got twin turbos running in this car now. Let's see what happens uh, to this. I actually don't know what it's going to do with the gearbox. And the answer is the engine's crap. Admittedly, it is lugging another engine in it. Um, can't do anything so. The gearbox is still an automatic, which is, I guess, to be expected. Um, it isn't going fast enough to spool the turbos yet. Possibly to do with weight. Um, I'm trying to see if we get any blow off sound. Like, see if the actually I can check if the turbos are working. Um, sadly, you cannot install two engines. That would be awesome. <laughs> However, that does not work. We'll see if we can... If we start going downhill... We'll see if... The, oh, game got a little laggy there all of a sudden. Um, thank you for that one. Jittery game. Hmm. Here we go. Gradually... Gradually picking up speed. I'm not sure this is an improvement, really. Don't think the turbos are working. Oh. No, turbo okay, turbos are working. The engine's just not very powerful. Uh oh. I saw that sporting in, in front of us. I don't know where it ended up going. Ugh. Bloody hell. Um we did we certainly did have turbos working on a modded V eight at one point. Uh, that def we definitely did have that working. Might not anymore. <coughs> oh, bloody hell. I hope it might sneeze again in a second. Don't know. Um, I think the, the lag spikes, I think, where, where cars are spawning in, right? So, the turbo... Well, we're going to try... I'm going to try messing around with the turbo configuration that we have uh, going on here. First of all, we're going to check what turbos are working. They are both working, because we can see bits spinning. Uh, so, let's try running a single turbo option here. Um, you can go back in the boot. Uh, and we will go to running, yeah, just one turbo uh, and see what happens. Uh, we're gonna, we've got to experiment a little bit. Uh, yeah, our, our engine in the back, there's a house somewhere. Oh, there is a house. You are not wrong. Over there, I thought it was a rock. <laughs> it has blended in well. Okay, single turbo option. It's not. Yeah, we might have to go back to just the other engine. Uh, the, the, I mean, the turbo. Oh, a little bit laggy and jittery and all that stuff. But uh, oh, this is another one of the big houses as well. Um, I mean, that's cool. Always happy to find one of these. Um, If we could find a bigger V8, that would be nice. The fury, the roof line on this is terrible. Just can't, you can't, oh, I know I can't see anything because I've got an engine in there, but even without the engine, I can't see anything out the boot, out the back, because the roof just comes so, like, cuts down so low, you are just not going to see anything. Um, right, that'll do there. Uh Okay, let's go and investigate. First of all, up here. It does look like there might be... Ah, oh, it's a sponge. I thought there was uh, some ammo in here. Nope. Uh, not even that fast. Buy a sponge. Don't really... Uh-oh. You know what I see. <laughs> this is the last thing we need. We do not need... Rabbity buggers. We do not need rabbity buggers at all. Uh, oh. There we go. Right. 
Uh, maybe we'll need oil. I'm not sure. You are irritatingly close. I don't want to lose use some of the very last of my ammo. Hmm. <laughs> right. We'll go in here. There's a siphon, which we don't need. We've still got ours. Uh, there is some floor bacon, which honestly we don't really need because we're picking up more than enough food along the way. Um... Uh, there is no barrels around here, so that's not helpful. This has not actually been a very helpful. I mean, this is a cool building. It's a cool find. I mean, there's a golf in here, which is pretty neat. Uh, that does come with an engine. Uh, rusty, rusty as anything golf, but it is not of any real use to me. Uh, we can try running a four. I don't know how the force manual is going to work on this car. We're just asking for trouble at this point, but we will give it a go. Uh, okay, we'll force manual we'll six. This this is for the fury. Uh, we'll give it a try. Carl. Okay, we've got it started at least. Okay, up and down on the arrows are not doing the gears. <laughs> um, obviously my controls are not bound to that. <laughs> uh, I don't know what gear up and gear down are. I don't need VR. I, I need... Shift up, up arrow, down arrow. Why is that not working? Should be working. No. <laughs> um. It might be the force manual doesn't work on this. Uh. No, page, no, page up, down, that doesn't work. Uh. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, well, the, the clutch is, is still the auto clutch, so that shouldn't do anything. It, it shouldn't need to. Uh, we've still got auto clutch. I, mean, I can figure out where the clutch is and see if that left control, apparently. Uh, whoops. Has this car managed to turn off? Okay. Okay, so right. So if we're running if we force manual, you have to run it with a clutch, I guess. There's no way this is going to go horribly horribly wrong at all. Uh <laughs> Uh, right, where's the road? Anybody seen a road around here? I just wanted to play around with the turbos. That's literally all I wanted. I've lost my road, it's over there. Uh, <laughs> right. Okay, here is, here is the road. Which, uh, uh, what way are we heading? This direction, I think, yep. Okay. I mean, we're still in first gear at the moment. <laughs> what the hell that was that drove past my house? In real life, something was very noisy. Uh, I'm not... I'm not sold on this really making much of a difference. Turbo is... Kicking it in. <laughs> Try to go up a gear. 
I mean, I think we have gone up a gear. Possibly. <laughs> Maybe. The gear in here somewhere. We might have to go back to the Fury engine. I might try this with the Fury engine. I mean, we are actually going along at a decent amount of speed now. And we are going uphill. Oh, no! Ah! Ah! <laughs> I think we stalled. <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> that is not what I want to come across when <laughs> I'm messing around with the uh, car trying to figure out the gears and everything and I come around a corner and a bus just freaks out and crashes. Oh dear. Oh, bloody hell. Um, right, okay, so what we're currently seeing is this engine is not as good as the Fury engine that, it, that comes with the car. Okay, let's just get this bonnet out of the way. So, well, this engine isn't great. We've made it do something, but ultimately, that's not a great engine. And that is why we bought the original engine with us, so that we can do this. Let's just check for rabbits, actually, before I commence an engine swap. And I love that we can literally just haul an engine into the uh, uh, into the car, whenever we feel like it. We can just go, yeah, you know what? This works. That's fine. Right, let's try this. Because, I mean, honestly, if this doesn't make it any faster, there's no point in me running manual. So... We will run with this. Um, we know the standard engine in this car is pretty solid. So... Yeah, I'm not that fast. We can just leave that engine out here. If we find a bigger engine and a better engine, then awesome. Uh, that's great. Okay. Right. We are off with the turbocharged Fury engine. Okay, first gear is very short with this engine. Second gear then suddenly becomes a lot longer. Uh, this should be a three-speed, I would presume. It would make sense to me that this is a three-speed. Uh, I guess it might be a two-speed. I guess we will find out. Alright, so the turbo is kicking in here. Now, do we have... A gear to go to? We did just drive past a bus stop. No, we don't really have a gear to go to. There's no reason for me to run manual with this... What the hell? Why are the tyres squealing like that there? Yeah, manual's just made this way more complicated... ...for... ...actually no real benefit at the moment. Yeah, there's no reason for me running a turbo in this car at the moment. That might have hurt my tyres. <laughs> uh, what is going on here with a police car? Alright, okay, I think we're going to... probably... I am... Excuse me, Apollo. How's it going, buddy? I'm gonna go back to just... leave it on bloody automatic. Um... There's no reason to run that. It's not working on this car. Um, there's there's no there's no benefit. It just makes it a lot more complicated, and I have a whole load more problems. So there is no reason to go for that. I will when we next stop. I'm going to take the turbo off the car as well. Uh, while it's fun to have, it's not actually helping us at the moment. Next time out, I will try the uh, tweaking the gear ratios through a mod. We will try and get that working. Um, hello, police car. Oh, we will go past you and your chill about that. Oh, rock. I saw that. That was like one of those. I saw. I saw it happening. Have I lost something? No. Car. I thought the car was leaning quite heavily to one side. That rear tire is knackered. Um, that's not great. In fact, I think both... Yeah, both rear tyres have got a little bit knackered from our antics. 
Well, I guess we're back to uh, we'll we we'll stop. We found a convenient point to stop now, so we will do what needs to be done. That can go sit in there. Awesome. Uh, right, we will grab the spare tire out of the back seat. There we go. Check for rabbity buggers. I just saw something fall from the sky over there. I presume it was a car spawning in. Uh, yeah. Okay, tyre. Come off. New tyre. Go on. That can sit in there. Uh, I'll take this with us because at the end of the day... That crap out, crapped out tyre is better than no tyre at all if something goes terribly wrong. Uh, I don't think we've got anything um, better than the tyre on the other rear wheel, to be honest with you. Uh, uh, we could do with some food. So we will have some of the roof chorizo. Oh, arse. Bloody thing. I didn't want to pick up the crate. I just wanted to pick up the food that was in the crate game. That's all I'm after. Sure, that can sit like that. Um, Alright. Oh, there's a warp speed rabbit! Go, rabbit, go! Where are you going? Away from me, I hope. Attack the bus! Nope, or just go have a sit down. Uh, that is also perfectly acceptable, uh, an option. We're kind of close to the water tower. I guess I'll go get a drink while I'm here. Might as well. Um, yeah, I'll try and bring it into a controlled-ish stop. Oh, or we can just lag and have issues. A little bit late on the brakes, uh, but that's fine. Hello, Apollo. How are you doing, buddy? You have woken up now, haven't you? Uh, <laughs> typical. Right. There is... Plenty of water here. That will do. Yeah, we'll just go for... Oh. That. Scroll wheel not on the right place. I guess we will go for a toilet in the water tower as well. Sorry again. I, I say I apologise. This is It's part of the game. We just have to sit here and make many horrible noise. Uh, ah. Uh, yeah, we can we can indeed repair the tyres, and we will if we don't have any other option. Uh, at the moment, we are we've got a spare, so I might as well swap it and save the spray bottle for potentially something more significant. I don't, the tyres are very important, but we've got spares for the moment. Might as well have the car wherever it's gone. Oh, I went and jumped out the wrong window. Uh, might as well have the car running on yeah what we've got. We can make it work. As long as I'm carrying stuff with me, it's fine. Okay. Let's let's get us going back towards the... Uh, oh, towards the road. Then we will head onwards. Ooh. Car? Was that completely necessary? I'm not a hundred... 100% sure that was necessary from the uh, from the fury there. I don't know why we went for just a random spin. Slightly worried. I just had a tyre let go on me. I think tyres are... Tyres are probably a bigger concern. Ammo is still... Okay, I've got a bit of a wobble on. I've got to be careful going too quickly, actually, with this now. Tyres are a little bit of a concern, but the much, the much bigger concern is ammo. We saw the rabbits uh, descend on the first house we were spawned in. And if that happens again, we are in trouble now. We did have a lot of ammo. We managed to have it vanished at some point. Uh, it fell through the world, basically. And that is uh, not... Oh, we have lost the wing mirrors along the way. Ah, well. I don't really use them that much. It's a pain. Um, but I'm not going back for them. That much is for sure. And we will come to a stop here. Uh, we can, of course, we, we can run over the rabbits. 
but that does rely on us being in the car and moving. They tend to eat me when I'm doing this sort of stuff, when we're filling the car up or we're searching for, for loot and, uh, yeah. <laughs> there's always, there's always some way for them to scratch. There's really, I just cannot find any ammo out here. That's empty. There's some okay condition tires around here, but... They are all the small tires I don't really want. Let's just check in. Hmm. A revolver would be really helpful, actually, at the moment. We've got so much revolver ammo, but no sign of a... Uh, no, no sign of a uh, uh, revolver anywhere around. Uh, this, this, we have had an absolutely insane amount of buildings. I agree. I have never seen this many in one playthrough. It's normally kind of like a five, ten minute drive in between buildings, yet we can find three or four buildings within that same five, ten minute. I mean, it's a much longer drive because we keep stopping. Um, but yeah, if I see a watchtower, we'll go to it. I can't say I've seen them, although it's not so easy. Oh! Thanks. I went to swerve out of the way and it wobbled into my way. <laughs> Bloody hell. I mean, the good news is... I think I have a sponge somewhere. I think I can just actually I think I think I can use magic spray on the blood. Possibly. Um I'm gonna go for a hope I can use magic spray on the blood. I can, sweet. Okay. That is useful. So the the blood axe is kind of a health bar in some ways. Uh you can die in a one hit. You can have a one hit KO. Uh, but more often than not, uh, you will have that where you get covered in blood. And uh, that is a sign. <laughs> that is a sign that... Please don't knock all of the gubbins away. Thank you. Uh, actually, I can just drive the car over here. The car works, so I don't know why I'm carrying stuff to it. Uh, it's, not like I've, it's not like I've lost a wheel. The uh, the Lada lost its wheel or whatever the crap box is that we hit. Whoops. Uh, I mean, I, we were both we were both pretty much in the wrong there. Admittedly, I was in the wrong lane for a lot of time. However, I did get back across to my lane uh, at the end, and that swerved into my lane. Um, yeah, was not expecting it to be wobbling about. Although I probably should, knowing how janky. Which I love how we had a head-on crash. There was no no two ways about it. That was just a high-speed head-on crash, and. All of the back stuff has come off my car, not the front bumper, or anything like that, or the bonnet. All the damage was done to the... Why? I don't know. Game, you're odd. Let's face it, we knew that already. Um, uh, the, the wobbly larder caused us grief. They can sort out their own wheel, that is not my problem anymore. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright. Probably shouldn't do a big burnout, actually. That's asking for trouble. Onwards! Onwards to the next building we go. Hopefully less... Uh, um, less AI cars along the way. Uh, I believe as far as AI is reacting to, to, to human, I don't think they do. Um, they will stop for rocks if they're going slow enough. If they see a rock in the road, they'll stop for that one. I don't think they stop for the player, as far as I am aware, anyway. Um, so, yeah, there, there there was... That wasn't the AI car trying to swerve and hit me. That was the AI spawned in and just weaved... Oh, game, why? Thanks, game. Thanks, game. That was awesome. That was just what I needed. Uh, that rear tyre is looking really iffy. 
that uh, last spin and trouble will not have helped. Uh, we're going to have to try and fix this up. Um, hello, Apollo. Yes, I know you're here, buddy. Hello. Hello. I haven't, I haven't forgotten about you. We know you're here. Um, right. Let's take that. We'll use... Well, we've got the last of our spray, really. Um, to, uh, to use on that tire. We won't get it... We won't get it fixed up perfectly here. Uh, unfortunately. And that's it. That is all we can do um, with the tyre here. Um, right. Let's oh, do that. Uh, right, I am going to have to just be back in a couple of minutes, folks. I think Apollo needs the loo. So... <laughs> I will go and let the dog out to the toilet. Just bear with me for a minute or two while I go and get this twat bag of a dog uh, out to the out to the toilet. So yeah, bear, just 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 bear with. Ah, right. I am back. Hello, everybody. Um, yes, dog has been uh, 
I say has been sorted out. It's gone to the loo. I put him in his crate for uh, for the sort of for the end of the stream. We might have some cats turning up. We'll see. We'll see what animals we have in the office today. Eve said hello as I came into the office. So <laughs> there we go. Right. Um, yes, when we were so rudely interrupted by uh, by the dog needing needing the loo, uh, Fury. We just fixed up the tire basically. Uh, well, fixed up as best as we can. We are now out of spray, so that's a concern. Um, we have gone through quite a lot of stuff here. Uh, that's. I mean, it is the point of this mod. The point. The point of this mod is that we we use we burn through tires. Might actually have to start being slightly careful here. Hello, Eve. The good old Evasaurus has turned up. Uh, we'll see if we can find somewhere nice to stop. I don't know where we might, but uh, if we can, it would be helpful. Uh, not that it really matters. Uh, old game. I just, that's why we don't drive at night. Cause, again, did not see that rock. Is that... Bill, that looks like just a rock to me. Yeah, we're gonna go for a sleep. <laughs> Evie, are you gonna come over and say hello? Hello, I can hear you meowing. I don't know whether you can hear her meowing over the aircon and the computer fans. Yes, you're very loud. What are you doing, Evie? Yes, I know. You gotta come say hello over pro properly over here, or Eve. Yes, I can see you. She does not want to come over onto camera. <laughs> come on, Eve. She's currently... <laughs> she <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I mean, this is very distracting. It's very cute. So I'm over here. Okay, behind me, there is Eve. So that's, that's, that's the kind of spare monitor I have at the moment. And I can just see from where I'm sat, there's just an Eve head. An Eve head is poking over the top. <laughs> She's gone. Evie, where have you gone? Oh, there you are. Hello. Someone's very noisy today. Someone's very noisy. Eve, you can say hello properly. Maybe? I don't know. You're looking. Where are you going? Oh. Chunky girl is investigating the dog toys. Yes. Meow. And there we go. That is, uh... That is the good old... The good old cat character. Yeah, Eve is very loud. Eve is a very loud cat when when she... And that this is her being quiet as well. This is nothing... This is nothing close to, uh... How loud Eve can be. Uh, she, she can be incredibly loud. Especially when she's hungry. Um... He was just continuing to climb around, clamber around all over the desk. But yeah, when she's hungry. Exactly. Yes, you're a lot louder than that. Uh, I think she's seen a... Oh, I know where she's loud. Oh, crap. Hold on. We got... What are you hunting? There's nothing up there. Please do not try and jump on the whiteboard. Sorry, we got... Uh, again, I'll, sh I'll show you so you can see what we're dealing with here. She's climbing around on the- she is a big cat! Okay, you can go up there, that's safe. She was climbing around on top of the Hot Wheels case there, and it was, uh, looked like she was gonna try and jump at the wall. It's very dark in here, so you're not gonna see her very well. She's on top of that, uh, that cabinet at the moment. Uh, <laughs> I thought she was gonna cause more chaos. <laughs> uh, it's fine. She- she can chill and calm down on top of the Lego cabinet. She'll be happy up there. Um, Ah, right. The animal distraction has been uh, has been completed. We've got a little bit of lag going on. Ah, watchtower. Yes, please contain something useful. Ah, and Cass has turned up as well. You're going to try. We're going to just have competing noises. Hello, Cass. Uh, Entertaining. Apollo is a very quiet dog on the most part. Uh, he very rarely barks. Um, which is, I mean, is quite nice in some regards. Uh, he does sometimes, but uh, yeah, Apollo's a really quiet dog compared to how loud Eve is being today. Uh, Apollo is very quiet and very calm. Yes, hello, Eve. I know you're there. I can still see you. There's some oil. I'll take some oil. That will that will work. What are you after, Evie? I, there must be like a fly or something in uh, 
in my office, I think Eve is trying to hunt, but she can't find it. But that that would uh, would make sense of the way she's acting. <laughs> she's surely seen something fly in here and is uh, see that car's eaten through its oil or drank through its oil. I guess I should say. Um, that's fine. Ah, right. No revolver for us, sadly. Or ammo. Oil is helpful, but not really what we're looking for here. Uh, could really do with some magic spray. Um, sponge can't really do much. I, I would like a couple of sponges for the sake of health, in case we have another big crash. They're not quite as critical as the magic spray. Does not look like there's anything useful here, does it? I mean, the trailer, sure, if we had a big truck. Um, but otherwise, I'm pretty sure all of this is useless. That is a radiator full of crap. Uh, there is nothing. I should have to be really careful doing that. They've got bloody cat park all going on around my office at the moment. Um, it's always a scary experience. I don't think these can contain anything on their own. No, they are just an empty trailer. That's right. Eve, do you want to do the commentary? Do, do you just want to do this? Would you, be, would you be better than me at this point? I mean, she's, she's talkative sometimes. I've never... She's not normally this... That's why I think she's spotted something. I don't normally have to talk over the cat. That is quite rare. Um... She's now just peering over the monitor. She's looking up at the ceiling, so either there are ghosts here, or there was a spider, or a fly, or a mo something is there that's got her attention. Oh, laggy, laggy game is doing trouble. Uh, all right, laggy game. Get the car back pointing the right way. Onwards we go. I think these tyres are not going to last. Uh, we do... Yeah, we have some spare tyres when things go... If things get desperate. That was, again, an unfortunate... That was an annoying lag spike, but we actually controlled that one very, very well. It tipped us off the road, but only slightly. We didn't have a big spin or anything like that. Uh, it was just enough to... Uh, just enough to upset the car. Oh, not again with the swerving! hell. I don't think I lost anything in that one. Uh, nope, I take it back. We lost the boot. I mean, that one there makes more sense that we lost the boot by virtue of the fact that we hit the back of our car. Where did our boot go? Oh! Oh! No, don't even think about it, rabbity bugger. I want my boot. That's why we shot that rabbity bugger. Uh, <laughs> that boot went miles. We are now down to a pair of bullets. That's all we've got. We've got so much revolver ammo as well. That is the annoying thing. Uh, we have so, so much revolver ammo. Uh... <laughs> uh all right, that can go in there. Okay. We will leave that car. That was the only thing that came off of ours. Oh, for God's sake. We lost a tyre. I was hoping we could go a little further before it let go. Can I drive? No, if I try and drive on a single tyre, all I'll end up doing is blow my other tyre up. <sighs> Bugger! We have a spare tyre. Actually, it's not a bad condition tyre in the boot there either. I know there's a rabbit in the distance. Uh... <laughs> The other rear tyre is pretty crap as well. Ah, 
What is that rabbit doing? Please do not attack me. I really don't want to have to use that tire's crap. It's gonna. I don't want to need it to last. I don't want to use my penultimate bullet. I'm going for a run away now, please. Um, come on. Get some forward momentum without spinning the tyre. There we go. We're off. We shall get back on the road. We shall ignore the rabbity bugger for now. We've got one good tyre on the rear. We're going to try and find another one. Or Ooh, a lunatic police car is going to come barreling past. At least it's not after us. That's the only positive from that interaction. Is it's not chasing me. <laughs> That rock spawned in really late as well. If I'd actually been going at any speed and that rock had, had left it that late to spawn in, uh, we would be doomed. There's a watchtower. That might have some ammo or a gun for me. Uh, we do need to eat in a minute. Well, we'll eat when we get over here. I've got loads of food currently in my car. Um, so that's not really a big concern of mine. Most of the time we're... we're eat, like, oh. We find enough food to barely need to eat the stuff that I carry. We find enough food in the places we stop. I haven't really needed to eat much of uh, stuff we carry around in the crates. Oh, damn it. Nothing of any use. Oil. I'll take the oil. Because it's here. But it's not great. Um, not, no, it's not a great find here. Binoculars don't really have a need to use them. Uh, they can be slightly helpful, but we've got the you've got the zoom in on the mouse button, so that does most of the work. That can go over there. I remember to shut that this time. How's the coolant? Coolant we're barely using any. Um, so the the reason the oil is going down, I have a mod that increases fuel and oil usage and so on um, to make it a little bit more of a challenge. We're actually not doing too bad. Oh, I was going to eat some food while I was here. Uh, weren't we? Oh. Uh, let's have some. Uh, roof turret. So, there we go. Sweet. That will do us nicely. We are back into the car. Uh, there is a boat coming up. Oh, God. Spinning the wheels some more. Uh... Yeah, there's a boat coming up, which I guess will be good for fuel. Ah, oh, there's a... Oh, there's a glitchy game. That was really uncalled for, again. Uh, it was glitching because the bus was spawning in and was freaking out. That's why it did that. Uh, did we lose a light? Is that what I see over here? Yeah, okay. I'll take... I'll take the lights with me. Because, you know, that seems... It seems like a... Uh, Good, a good idea. Uh, I mean, the, the the petrol, we haven't really had too much problem with the fuel, but that is because we found a lot of fuel early on in this. Um, so, yeah, we haven't really been at worry with fuel, uh, even with this big V8. So, that's just because how things have panned out. Whether that's going to stay that way, I doubt, I doubt it. Um, we could run into some fuel trouble. Uh, we will have to wait and see. What have we got in this location? It looks like there's going to be some fuel. But I mean, we've also found so many buildings today. Like, we've just, we've hardly been driving because we've just been stopping every two or three minutes because a new building's cropped up. Uh, which is a nice problem to have and everything. Okay, magic spray. That's awesome. Completely empty fridge. Never seen that before. Uh, that is a first. That's got nothing. That's full of alcohol and water. Oh, game's got a little bit laggy. Uh, let's check for rabbits before... Okay, so we've got brand new white wall there. Awesome. Awesome. I like that. As far as... In fact, so not only have we got a brand new white wall, we've got a hubcap to go with it as well. Nice. And we've got a brand new... We've got a nice shiny wheel. So... That... Oh, God's sake. Is... I don't think you... Right, put that on there. How can I put that on there yet? Bring this. Fit that on there. Okay. Shiny wheel. No, that's a shiny wheel. Uh, that's some gas. Let's go and 
fill the car up. Check for rabbits first. You gotta do the... <laughs> you gotta do the rabbit check before you go and fill your car up. <laughs> Becomes a very, very important part of this, uh, of this game, is the rabbit check. Pretty much before you do anything. Oh, well, it's good. Cool, it's all good. Do I bother taking that tire with me? That is the real question here. I might grab this crate as an extra storage. We're going to need more sponges and magic spray, I think, for tires that we are chewing up in this. So we're going to take another crate with us. Uh, hmm. Considering how many bad tires I've got, I feel like this is actually a good use of this spray. Okay. Uh, right, that tire, the tire in the back seat here is crap. So, let's take that out. Let's fix that up there. And that can go in there. Right. Cool. Good news. Good news. Ish. That's got four sprays. I mean, it might be enough to save a tire a little bit for desperation's sake. Ah, uh, here we are. This this has been a weird. I say, been a weird playthrough. Been a weird session. Um, things have not quite gone as I wanted. Uh, I hope this car was going to be fast. It's nice and controlled, but I did hope it was going to be quicker. Uh, we've had rabbit problems. We're running out of ammo. That's not the biggest concern, but the tire wear is the concern we're having with this. Uh, that, that's that's the big, the big problems we've got going on. Um, is yeah, we are just killing rear tires and. I'm going to have to start being a little bit more careful with my driving. Well, sort of trying to be a little bit more careful. Oh, the truck has spawned out by a watchtower. It's the first time I've ever had a vehicle spawned by one of these. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of cool. I mean, it's no use to me, but it is kind of cool nevertheless. Uh, we will hop out and go climb a watchtower. <gasps> Ta-da! Woohoo! Good news! Very good bloody news. Oh, that is what we were wanting. We are now in... a slightly better place. We have got a weapon, so the... revolver will also be a one-shot kill on the rabbits, and we have a lot more in the way of bullets. That thing is so loud. That car. Every time that spawns in, it's unbelievably, unbelievably noisy. Let's go have a sleep. So, yeah. The good news. We have got some bullets. Uh, we have got enough ammo now to not really have too much problem. Uh, I say that. Rabbits can still sneak up on you. I see you over there zooming about in the dead of night. What happens if we go for a run you over with the fury? I know rabbit physics can sometimes get a little bit janky. Oh. Well, I think we got rid of it. Uh, it'll work. It will It will work. Uh, hopefully. And all that. Right, boat. Let's go and have a wander around this. I mean, if I can find... Pretty much the only thing I'm looking for here is a barrel of petrol and if I can use that to fill up my car then we're basically good for ages oh my brakes seem to have stopped working uh, we can drive in here why not keep ourselves out of the way of trouble possibly okay let's try and find in the many oh there we go in, in the many barrels let's see if we can find the one that's full of gas and gas only. That's Okay, we've found oil barrels so far. Uh, there are probably more efficient ways of searching than I am currently doing, but I'm going for quick. 
we might miss something. But I'm going on the chances of me missing the one barrel with petrol in it um, being slim, basically. That's for the diesel. I mean, di like the diesel engines are fine and everything, but uh, we've got a V8, so, you know, we're not going to be swapping to a truck engine. If if you were try planning on using... There we go. That's a barrel that we wanted. Don't think this will quite be enough to fill the Fury up completely. Uh, I'm not going to be carrying barrels with me around here. That much is for sure. Old game. Look, I just want to... That will work. I'm just trying to stop it from freaking out and making horrible amounts of noise. Um... Oh, I see a bus freaking out in the distance. I see a rabbit also. Oh, no, don't drink. Fill the car. I don't want to drink the petrol. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. I saw, I saw movement and I was worried for a second. Okay. Barrel away. What is going on over here? Hello, Eve. You're still meowing away. Uh, we'll have a quick scout. I'm not too fast about any more of this stuff, to be honest. Uh, oil. Oil. There's so much oil in here. This must have been an oil ship. Oh, the frame rate is hating life. I have a feeling uh, the... Oh, there we go. There's another huge... That's full of gas. Okay, the car's going to be full. I have a feeling spawning stuff in is having some... Uh, problems here. Uh, right. That'll do. Okay. We are full. We've got a full fuel tank in a Fury. That's... I was not expecting it to be as easy as that, as it has been so far. Um, yeah, Eve, Eve's still making her herself known, shall we say. <laughs> Okay, Fury, let us. That's a horrible amount of noise. I'm going to presume that was sort of wheel spin going on. Um, but yeah, I've got no real space to carry that barrel. And We've got fuel. I guess I could have put the, some of the barrel in. We could have siphoned the... Uh, fuel into a jerry can, but I I feel like we're fine at the moment. I probably should be more careful. I should have filled up one of the jerry cans. Oh! Okay, I might have got carried away trying to scout in the distance before. I was properly past you. That was a little bit more on me. Um, but yeah, we will have massive frame rate issues. I'm so glad I'm so glad I could just lift off the throttle and that, for once, um, decided to sort itself out. Hey, Carly is here in chat. I did say, I did say if you'd come and watch. Uh, Eve, you've literally turned up within the last sort of 10, 15 minutes, but Carly is here. Uh, everyone, everyone say hello to Carly. And Eve has even said hello. Eve has, Eve is being very, very loud today. Um, hello, Evie. Do you want to say hello as well? Eve's still going, oh, there must be there must be something in the office because she's never normally this chatty. Um, ooh. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> there with. Um, Carly already commenting on my driving. Look, this is not my fault. That is an AI has binned it. Have you lost both your rear wheels? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on here. What have we got? Have you really lost both your rear wheels in a crash? Oh. <laughs> oh. I mean, not only is this an amazing rust bucket. Oh, it's the noisiest. Shut up. Oh. Bloody hell. That's so loud. I have never seen them spawn in and lose both rear wheels in a crash. <laughs> sure, we will. We will go and uh, 
en enjoy. See, at least I'm better driving than that. I'd say that how many times we've had. No one, no one say how many times I've had an accident during this. Uh, <laughs> a lot of them weren't my fault. Quite a few were glitchy game uh, related. Some of them, some of them not. Um, I t you see, yeah, someone just pointed out, um, there is blood from the AI cars. You can't kill them as far as I know. I've tried shooting them with various stuff. I've tried shooting them with an AK off camera and it doesn't do anything. Um, as far as I'm aware, as far as I'm aware, it isn't possible to kill them, which is a shame. You can't go and steal the cars. Uh, oh, oh, all that time we've been trying to find a bloody revolver and... I've dropped the oil. Where's the oil gone? Oh, bloody hell. I'm going to die falling off here, aren't I? I'm a little bit stuck on a ladder. Did the oil actually ping somewhere? Did anybody see my oil? Um, does, has, has anybody seen the oil? Uh, apparently not. I did not nearly drive into a wall earlier. You can shush. Uh... <laughs> Um, and there was, it was fine. I stuck in the watch. Okay, oh, no, I'm not as stuck in the watchtower as I thought I was. Um, I believe the revolver I have got is the uh, better condition of the revolvers. I've got, yeah, my, actually, this is like a pristine condition revolver. So, oh god, laggy game. Uh, oh, that's that's not even oil. That's full of gas. I don't want that in my car. That can go away. I thought I saw a rabbit. Uh. It's just, if I think I see a rabbit, the first thing we do is just jump on the highest thing I can. There is a rabbit over there. Oh, there's a rabbit a lot closer. I did see a rabbit. Go, oh. oh. There we go. Rabbit away. <laughs> to go and click through the uh, uh, chambers until we found one. Uh, right, let's go. Right, we will fill that full of bullets. And then we will... Okay, we have got an AK with three bullets in it, two bullets in it, but that's fine, doesn't matter. The revolver's a one-shot kill. Um, don't care about the, the other rabbits, they're far enough away that we can get in our car and go... Oh, the rear tire's already crapped up. Ugh. Okay, I'm a little concerned about my rear tyres. This car is just chewing them apart. I guess it serves me right for getting a Fury, but it is basically chewing my rear tyres up to pieces. And it's not as quick as I was hoping for, but we will fix that for next time. We'll fix the gear ratio so I can... Well, we'll mod the gear ratio so... Oh, frame rate, stop it. I think it's just spawning in cars. and It is the spawning in of cars. I can probably maybe tinker around with some graphic settings to stop it. Um being as laggy as this, um, but it, it, there is the just spawning in of AI vehicles that glitch everything out, uh, that, that do cause some problems along the way. We are... we got some speed. It is at least fairly... Oh, bloody hell. Game, behave. Just sudden rabbity bugger in front of us. Uh, we've got a big water tower. Uh, I mean, we do need some food. Oh, we might as well go to the water tower while we're here. Sure. Um, we haven't got the engine. We're not carrying an engine anymore. We, we chucked the old engine out. Um, we got rid of that. So we're not carrying that. If anything, if we had all the weight over the back, that would help wheel spin. Um, in theory, the more weight over the back would, keep, would, would push the back of the car down into the road that should should potentially reduce wheel spin, but no, we don't have that. I think it's just this car's got a lot of power, it's got a lot of torque, um, and that is causing it to spin the wheels up really easily. So, yeah. Um, oh, it's not being such a laggy game. There's nothing out here. Where is the entrance to the... Oh, no, this is an outside water tap. Fine. We can do that. We will turn you off. Uh, for now, uh, we'll have some roof bacon. Or oh, actually, we'll have some roof chorizo to start us off with. And then we will have some water tower. Oh, come on now, game. It was worth a little detour, actually. Up there. Just to, just to sort of fill up 
the water, the water bar, and we can eat some food and not have to be worried. I'm just lazy. I'm just really lazy and don't really like using the jerry cans if I don't have to because they're a bit of a faff. Uh, for those asking about my, my real life fury, um, it is a 65 fury. So it's not this style. It hasn't got the big tail fins. Um, people, let's see, when, when, when I did have it running over here, it is. Uh, People often confuse it with a Pontiac GTO. They do look quite similar, to be fair. If, and if you know a little bit about muscle cars, but not much, um, which in England is, in fact, it's, oh, you twat of a game. <laughs> why? Why did that? Why? Just stop frame rating issues when I'm just getting back onto the road. We lost a bonnet from that one. Um... I don't think we lost anything else. Oh, we lost the boot as well. Bloody hell. That sounded terrible. Oh, we do need to go make terrible farting sounds. You know what? Terrible farting sounds can wait until we are um, a long way away from... Or when we can go and stand on a roof. Uh, that's, that's when they can wait. We'll wait until we're at the next building. Um, and that will be... Uh, that that will be fine. Um, oh no, oh dear, we're having glitchy problems. Ah, we're having glitchy frame rate problems. Frame rates all over the place. Uh, <laughs> we've survived too long. That's what it is. The game has just decided. Nope, you cannot survive any longer. We are going to mess around with you, and uh, that's fine. Oh yeah, the rearview mirror has fallen off. Can we? Can we fix? Can we? Uh, this is going to end in a crash. Uh, oh nope. Wait, okay, can we adjust it? We can adjust it. It didn't end in a crash somehow. Whoa. You know, actually, I don't even care. There's never, never anything exciting um, at, uh, at, the, at, uh, at those places. Um, so everything is fine. Um, yes, we're <laughs> uh, yes, Carly, whenever I have a crash in real life, it's definitely because of glitchiness. Oh, no. Okay, that wasn't glitchiness. That was just, that was, that was on me. That one. The truck, the orange truck is wobbling down the road. Um, everything is fine. I am perfectly in control of all of my faculties. Uh, sometimes. Ish. Oh, we're spinning the tire. The tires are shredding themselves again. Uh, ew, this is a problem. Uh, <laughs> we have not got enough spray to fix up the tires. What is going on with my frame rate today? My frame rate is having many problems. The mods cause some of them. I do not need... I, well, I say, you're saying do a flip. We've still got eight minutes of this stream to go. Give or take. The chances of me making it through eight minutes uh, without having another massive accident are pretty slim. Uh, we do have spare tyres, but we have they're, they're not very good condition. So if we swap to them, they're not going to last long. Oh, oh, there we go. We're going to get the camera back down here. Buildings? Anywhere? Oh, no. Okay, I need... We need some tyres. We need some tyres. Hello, Cass. You've come to headbutt my leg. Um, I guess we could put... The, oh, no, 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 no. It's glitchy bus time. We could put the front tyres on the rear. That's not a bad shout, actually. I might do that. I might do that. Because um, the front tyres don't really wear the same. So we can dump those on the rear. Uh, and that will... Oh, no. Problems again occurring. Uh, okay, I see. I see a petrol station. Um, I, 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 I see. I see a petrol station up ahead. Um, oh, and for, <laughs> for, for those asking who Carly is, that's uh, that's the person who I absolutely thrashed at Scale Electrics. Well, most of the time, apart from one cheaty lap with a Ford. I still don't know how she managed to do. But it was like 0.4 of a second. But uh, yeah, there we go. This, this is who I beat at Scale Electrics in a, a video a while ago. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, there, 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 there we go. Uh, there's a bike on the roof. How did the bike end up on the roof up there? Um, I do not know. Uh, no, no idea at all. There's not much exciting here. Really. The spray bottle, that's good. Okay, my rear tyres aren't completely terrible. Um, which is surprisingly good. Uh, considering they were making a lot of noise. Right, we're going to go have a sleep. Um, 
That is fine. Actually, yeah, yes, as Dark House says, yes, Carly completely cheated. I shall remind her of that. Um, actually, Carly's saying you were tired. I'm going to let everybody in. Actually, I should remember I said this in the video. I think I did. But you know what? Seeing as it's live and we can embarrass Carly now, we were, so we were supposed to do a race. The camera ran out of battery. We were supposed to film a race a little bit later. The evening we were supposed to go and film the race, Carly managed to fall asleep and didn't make it over here to film said race. So, yeah, who fell asleep while supposed to be filming stuff? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Two can play at the let's try and embarrass each other game. Uh, right. That, okay, that tire is completely wrecked. Awesome. That's what we need. That wheel can go on there. We'll put some good tires on the back. This probably means we're going to get wonky as anything steering. Uh, but that's fine. Check for rabbits. I would say shout if you see a rabbit, but chat would probably be happy to see me killed. Um... That tire's okay, so we are just getting a one-tire fire on this car. Which is not the worst. Like, I can live with a one-tire fire. Uh, at least it means I only chew up one of the rears. How are we doing fuel? Yeah, I, this car does not eat as much, eat or drink as much fuel as I thought it was going to. I actually thought it was going to be way thirstier running the big V8. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we will do that. Um... We were <laughs> Look, Carly, you started this. Oh, rabbity bugger! No, go away. I didn't know if that was going to come for me. The option was that one. I, I, fe I feel like I made a good choice. There we go. Yeah, so the plan was I'm going to spray that worn-out tyre with the spray that we found here, but I got distracted by spawning in rabbits and Carly making vague threats. Uh, <laughs> hey, look, you, you started. You started the silly game. I have just merely continued it and possibly won it. Or if you don't hear from me tomorrow, folks, you'd know why. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's go fix up a tyre while we're here, shall we? Um... We will have a brand new tyre. And this is going to be basically the use for the spray bottles at this point. Uh, I am not testing if the spray revives a rabbit. <laughs> the rabbits are enough trouble as it is. I do not need them coming back to life. And I need all the sprays I can get because I burn my tyres to pieces. Um, so there is that. Uh, Alright, let's go and climb up here. Alright, uh, we actually can uh, put all of these sprays in a single bottle. It's just easier rather than me hauling crap around. Uh, yep, that can go over there. That was a terrible laggy throw, but it has gone into the distance. Uh, oh, Woolala, Timberwolf, thank you very much for the uh, for the donation. I, was like, I think those UFOs could know how that uh, bike got on the roof. That is true. That is about the only way that could explain how the bike made it up there. Because, I mean, the character you play, you can throw stuff quite far. I mean, you've seen us move engines. I don't think I could actually hoist the bike onto there. Um, so, we will see. Uh, apparently, apparently, the revenge for me uh, pointing out that Carly fell asleep while we were supposed to be filming, which I'm going to say again in case anybody missed it, uh, is I'm going to go get chucked in a river. Uh, lovely. Although, to be fair, if tomorrow is as warm as it is today. That's not the worst punishment. Oh, no, my phone would get wet. Ah, oh, bugger. That would suck. <laughs> let's, let's, let's avoid that one. Let's, let's avoid, avoid that one. I was going to try and get the basket off the... Ooh! Oh, no. Bloody, okay, I'm not getting that. I'm not going up there because I'm going to glitch and die. Uh, that's what's going to happen if we're not careful. Right, let's move on. We will head towards... Uh, we'll try and find a proper building uh, for, I say, for the end of this stream. Uh, we will bomb our way forward. Actually, it's also almost top drives time. I don't normally have top drives breaks uh, in streams. However, the event that's ending tonight, we will... Uh, don't... Don't use your phone and drive ever. Uh, terrible idea, especially not on the long drive where literally things can ping out of existence. Oh, nowhere near high enough in the leaderboard to really care that about that one. Never mind, I take it back. <laughs> so if I was top 10, I was where I, I would have tried. Or if I was close, I was miles away, so I don't care. It's not worth it. Um, let's, yeah, let's, let's move on. Let's try and not blow our tyres. I think our tyres will be good for a little bit uh, of this... Uh, 
of this journey uh, until we find somewhere else. It's a shame the turbos aren't working for this. As I said, we will try and get the turbos working for next time out. I'll try and sort out the gear ratios if we can mod the game in such a way that's going to let me do it. Uh, we will try and just extend the gear ratios. So, whoa, flying car! Not again, that was, oh, now we're having a lag issue. Um, let's, can we not have flying cars like that again? Wait, hold on. What the bloody hell has happened there? Also, did I leave the fuel cap open? I think I did. Hold on. Yes, I did. I pissed out some of the fuel. What? Has... The, what? <laughs> no wonder the game's lagging. Why has this happened? How many cars have had an accident for this to have occurred? No wonder the game is lagging to crap. It's spawning cars in and they're crashing into this rock and they're just depositing bits everywhere. No, we, we've drove past a little debris pile. I've ne we've never driven past a debris pile this big. Um, that's so weird. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's let let us witness what happens here. I see how they kept losing wheels and things. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be standing here laughing. Because <laughs> there's a good chance we'll get hit and killed. Uh, I have no idea how much damage does if we get hit by a uh, uh, car at all on that one. Uh, right, we're going to carry on. Yeah, we have to have passed a couple of like bits of debris, but this is a this is unprecedented amount. Of, uh, of debris. Okay, Fury, let's fire you up. Yeah, never seen that one before. We have found... I mean, I've played a quite a lot of this game now. Quite quite a lot. And I'm still finding new weird things. Um, so, yeah, there's no point me stealing that stuff for anyone who was asking. Um, there's no point me stealing, stealing that stuff because it will despawn when I reload the game and we're right at the end of the stream. Oh, laggy, laggy pile of crap and a rock. Oh, and there's our flip. Oh, no, 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 no. Come back down, car. Ground, floor, sky, floor. Carly, shut up. I can already sense the comments. Uh, in fact, you could... Whoa, hello, spawning in truck. Um, <laughs> I I think... I think if Carly's criticising my driving, I know somebody who has to go and do some driving uh, on camera at some point. Uh, but I'm going to blame some lag <laughs> for that one. Uh we got the flip before I found a building. Uh, we got we got another flip. This fury has gone for a number of flights. It has not had a. Uh, it's not had an easy life. We've only driven it for forty-five miles, and uh, it has ah, that's a crunch. That doesn't sound good. Oh, rock no. Okay, so I think the car was just bottoming out on its way down here. I think we're okay. Um, oh, bloody hell. Oh, woolala, thank you very much uh, to JDK for the donation. I shall read it. Sorry, it's a little bit of a longer donation. I shall read it when I stop somewhere. Can I not find a building? I don't want to stop at a watchtower. I want to stop at an actual building. Um, oh, yeah, the, the number plate on the side of the car was... Because I was collecting... Um, number plates, although I have slightly forgotten that I was collecting number plates. We've got distracted by other things going on. Mostly concerns about my tyres. Um, that has been the, the big concerns. I don't know what that sound is. It doesn't sound healthy. I hope I'm not running on a rim. In fact, if I was, the car wouldn't be putting power down and wouldn't be steering this well, but something sounds draggy. It sounds like it's scraping on the floor. Ooh! That's the edge of the road. Get back on the tarmac, please. Because um, I'm just waiting for something to glitch and fling me into the scenery. We, 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 oh, we've been having frame rate issues. No game, you bugger. Oh, this is bad news. Yeah, maybe not running at 100. 
So some visor ended up in the rear seat. I think it has. Probably not running 120 miles an hour in iffy conditions with this weird frame rate issue. It would be it would be a safer thing to not go flat out. However, it, the fail race way is all or nothing. Uh, there is no... To be fair, I'm also driving on a keyboard, which is unbelievably difficult. Um, well, unbelievable, but I, I have a button, so it's either full throttle or no throttle. So you can tap it and that's... You know, or you can lift and coast a lot more. Which would be the sensible thing to do, but I don't do sensible. Uh, we do we do go as fast as we possibly can and hope for the best, really. There is definitely sound like a scraping sound going on. That I don't remember there being before. Might just be I am now noticing it. Possibly. Who knows? Shout if you see a building as well. Not that the stream delay, if you do see a building, I will have probably long gone past it. However, uh, chat is sometimes better at finding buildings than uh, than I am in all of this. We've come into a new biome at least. That is, uh, that is something. Uh, there's a boat a long way in the distance. We found a lot of, a lot, oh there we go. Found a building, found a petrol station. Uh, and it's lagging a little bit. Thankfully, we can just turn the engine off, stick on the brakes, and coast into this one. I actually I probably shouldn't. I do often use the handbrake to uh, slow the car down. The handbrake's. What's going on here? Uh. What has happened to my controls? Uh, I've broken something. I've lost all my controls. Uh, what is the button to check? I, I, I've got mouse steering. How do I undo mouse steering? I don't want mouse steering. Help! Oh, wonderful people of chat! <laughs> How do I undo mouse steering? <laughs> I can't, I don't know what I've pressed. Oh, you. Hey! The wonderful, um, the wonderful people of chat have fixed my car. Thank you. Thank you indeed. Ah, uh, the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful people of chat. And Car Carly's being mean to me again. I am, I am a lovely person. I am not a bully in any way, shape or form. But when you have cold hands, sometimes you have to share them with people you care about, okay? Is that not how it works? That, that's how life works. Um, that's how I believe life works, anyway. I also have absolutely no doubt the favour would be returned. Actually, it was only, that was only ever done because you were being mean to me in the first place. So, you know, I'm just casually wandering around here looking for some bullets. Um, <laughs> uh, there's none in here at this point. Uh, although we have got another magical spray bottle. I could have sworn I heard a rabbit. Yes, I did hear a rabbit. That, I was actually paying attention. I tell you what, the rabbits have had it out for me today. Um, the rabbits really have had it out for me on this one. Uh, we do need a poo at this point. I, that's why I was coming in, well, I was coming in here to look for ammo, and then I heard a rabbit, and now we're going to poop everywhere. Um... And now we've just got to we've just got to add the fart effects. I, this it's horrible noises. I know. Okay, there we go. I'm going to check for rabbits again before we have a wee. <sighs> we we could paint the rabbit red if we really want to. Um, we could paint the rabbit red at this point. Oh, and I shall read the, the donation message as well. Uh, apologies, take a little while to get to it. Um, yeah, uh, JDK, thank you for the, uh, for the donation. I say, hi Alex, I love your videos, just started my new job, uh, and just passing my free time watching some live fail race action. Uh, looking forward to more live streams. Uh, are you going to uh, Horizon 5 Hunt the Survivors anytime soon? Um, possibly. We have got a Hunt the Survivors. We have got Hunt the Survivors coming out um, from GTA 5 soon. Uh, that has that has been filmed. Um, that will be out fairly soon. And um, 
yeah, there will be another Forza one, uh, undoubtedly, in the near future. They're good fun to do. That generally is a little bit easier to do than Survive the Hunt, because Survive the Hunt really, really relies on everyone being able to see properly. Uh, Hunt the Survivors can be a little bit more forgiving if the game is being glitchy and weird. It's only a little bit. Oh, hello, Eve. Eve has made an appearance. Um, and then the very loud estate car has turned up as well. We will have some roof bacon while we're here. There we go. The loud Eve has turned up. Um, right, let's just go let's see. Do we have... Hello, Eve. We don't have any red paint in here. We can paint the rabbit grey, if you want. Kind of grey. I don't know if it's really going to do much. Um... <laughs> Uh, Carly's Carl, still trying to say she claims she isn't a bully. Uh, you are definitely being mean to me. I can't even remember what you said at this point. Um, but I, 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 I believe... I believe she was insinuating I smelled of poo was, I think... I think what was said, and the punishment for that was cold hands on back. Uh, I believe that's how it works. Uh, anyway, on that note... Um, I do believe it is going to be time for this stream to... Uh, to come to an end. Oh, we've had some adventures today. We have, we have had quite, uh, quite the adventures. Oh, and Eve is back to poking her head over the monitor. Hello, Eve. It's now far too dark in my office for you to be able to see anything if I put the camera on anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> Eve has been really, really loud this evening, uh, which is always entertaining. As I said, I think there's got to be a bug in here that she's trying to hunt. Um, yeah, this is going to, uh, to be the end of, uh, end of this stream. I hope you've all enjoyed this, uh, adventure through the long drive. We got the fury working. We will be back on Wednesday. We'll be back next Wednesday for, uh, continuing adventures, uh, with all of this. Next stream will be, uh, the next, the next stream itself will be on Sunday. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what we're going to be streaming. Probably GTA, uh, although we might mix it up. We might do Horizon 5, might even do Grand Turismo 7 at some point. Um, but the... Uh, uh, it'll probably, we'll probably be on GTA. Can't go wrong with GTA. Uh, so I hope you will uh, join us for... for that. Um, but uh, yeah, of course, a very big thank you to everyone who donated uh, during this stream. It is very, very much appreciated. I think I read everything out. I apologize if I missed any. Uh, sometimes it can go very quickly and difficult to keep track of. But uh, uh, yeah, if, if I did miss any, I do apologize. It is, uh, it is greatly, greatly appreciated indeed. But that shall be it. That shall be it for today. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, I have fallen off the roof. <laughs> Why, game? <laughs> Goodbye.